Welcome to the Kinjas Podcast. Here we will discuss dance, life, and whatever the f we want. <laughs> Folks, welcome or welcome back to Kinjas Movement in the Shadows. We are your host, Ben. And a very happy and excited Anthony. We are so excited. So much fun excited for today's guest. We have a returner back in the pod. He is the newest member of the Kinjas. We got the magic man himself, Jackson Wang, back in the pod. Was, that, was that a better intro? Thank you. That was a that was a part two intro. We we had to redo that one because thank you guys. Hey, congratulations on that award. Yes, uh, thank you. I mean, up, yes, Jackson? I'm back. I'm You're back. back. Just wanted to. Uh, Every I just decided like every time I come back to LA I I just got to be on just to talk about anything. That's a nice tattoo on your finger, bro. Yeah, right here, man. Forever. You, know, you didn't until, have that last until time. Gra- until the grave. Yeah, unless you said you you get into a fire or something. Remember like, you said until that? Until I rip the skin off. But hey, this is until I die, bro. Ripping After I die too, is, actually. Okay. Yeah, it stays yeah. there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I don't even know if he's the newest member. Is he not? No, I think Within I think in the past 7 months. No, I think Nick Joseph. Is, the is, second uh, newest member of the Kinjas, Jackson Wang, is hey, in the pod. See, he's, he's already he's already super credible Kinja. He's been in yeah, the game dude, for so long. You're kind of a vet now, dude. Yeah, he's you're, a veteran. You're an OG. I'm happy. I'm honored. When you were on last time, you weren't a Kinja. And no. you guys had a very fun conversation because yeah. you guys had a deal that we made good on that deal. And he was mad at me because I apparently didn't invite him to my birthday. Yeah, there was a lot of birthday oh, right, right, right. uninvites that. Uh, but we did go to his birthday recently. We did. Yes, yes, my mm-hmm. birthday. But it I was, was just like a small party. I was super sober. Yes, uh, Anthony. Do you remember you were there? <laughs> you do. You know, do you remember? Do I? <laughs> I remember everything, Justin. I don't know what you're insinuating. No, I think everybody know. Like whoever that's watching, that's that follows me on my movements. We we were we were on live last time. So they saw everything. They saw oh, that's you, right. We they were saw alive. you kissing uh, another homeboy, and you know it was on screen, right? They saw John High kissing me. It was a lot of there were a lot of kissing a lot of guys going kissing on, guys. yeah, like just family kiss, you know. And that's you nothing go. like crazy. A lot of crew love going on right here. Yeah, that was almost detrimental to our entire brand. But thank you for saving it with yeah. like friendly family kissing. It yes. could have gone a, a lot of different ways. And we have fun. Did you have fun? Like, I had a great yeah, time, man. We had some man. bomb food there. Did you drink? I did. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. I had yeah. some drinks, a little bit, right? Yeah. Only a little bit. It was the fun. food was very good. Yeah, the food was very, the cake was good. The blueberry cake. Oh yeah, it was nice. Oh, I didn't have any. That was cake. good. What blueberry cake? It was. You don't even remember. Were you there? <laughs> I don't think I was. <laughs> I don't, no, what you talking about the the giant cake? Oh, yeah, 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 it was a blueberry yeah, flavored cake. cake. The, the team, yeah. the team got me. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. That's dope, man. I felt nice. I felt like home. You know, like everybody from the Kinjas. Uh, the people from the show that I'm preparing uh, in 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 my American tour, like just very fan. My team, they were there. It felt very private, personal. It was nice. It was honestly, it was, it was honestly at that point too. Um, just getting a chance to even invite a bunch of the Kinjas out. I haven't even seen and hung out with so many people in the same room in a long time as well. You know what I mean? I was gone traveling and stuff, teaching and whatnot, uh, for a couple of weeks, and then finally coming back, we went straight into rehearsals every single day. Right, right. So right. just being able to connect with everybody, you know what I mean? Was uh, we just didn't get that opportunity, and then you're like, hey, I'm doing this private birthday thing, and then you you start listing all the Kinjas that you have relationship with. You're like, invite these people. And I was like, okay, for sure. And yeah. everybody decided to show up. I'm you know just thankful, I mean? man. I'm very thankful. I, I'm the bridge. I hope I can be the bridge you and force the bridge. everybody. You're like supposed that. to be the CEO and give everybody five times salary. Yeah, and but I know you I'm haven't not, done that I'm on not. video. You just, you're just playing with me, bro. Like, I'm not. If I, I am, if you let me handle that, I'll handle dude, it. Dude, again, you could totally handle it. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay now, first of all, I'm going to change the Kinja Bang Nudos the, the profile. I'm going to change that if I take over. And then I'm going to, for the online class, I'll make it free for half, for half of it. Can we edit some of that oh, out? Yeah. <laughs> just... Jackson Wang is for the fans, man. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, dude, that's it's been a, it's been over over half a year since you were last on uh, on the pod. And you were, this is pre-Kinjas. And now you are Kinjas. We made that... Uh, that yeah, those are yeah, just keep going. The just cultures keep are out. Uh, we did head in the clouds. Uh, eighty eight rising head in the yes, clouds. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. And then uh, that was where the the announcement was made official. And I'm very honored, honestly. 
And honestly, we were talking about that deal, but I feel like I don't know. Like it's, it's ask Anthony, you know, like he 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 made the move. So I wonder why did you make the move, Anthony? Because we one. We are men of honor, and we have to honor the words and agreements and arrangements that we make. That that is that's a rule. I don't write those rules. We just live by codes of conduct. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Do we want to? Did we talk about what the deal was, the details of it, or are we? Yeah, like, I think we, we, people know enough. Yeah, people yeah. know enough. Okay, but enough. but you know, you, I think the premise of the deal it maybe sounds very. Uh, there's a high level version of it, right? At the end of the day, there's it, it seems transactional. It's, it seems numerical. It seems objective. It's kind of like, hey, you know, when you hit a certain like, you know, thirty million followers, blah blah blah. We do this, but like, that's that's almost like the the uh, the makeup to the real essence of like what an arrangement like that is, right? You know what that really is? That's you look, you dive deeper. You think about the relationship. You think about the commitment that we have towards each other. That's just a bond of faith. That's just having faith in the other person, saying one, either you're having faith in us to hold our deal that we're still going to continue rocking together in life, or B, we're holding faith in you, knowing that you're going to continue to excel in everything that you choose to do. That's really what it is. The, the whole concept of the, the contract and the arrangement is just because at the end of the day, you need something tangible to honor an agreement. But the agreement is is so much more powerful. Don't you agree? No, I mean, it's I really want to know from you because I'm like, I actually forgot about the deal, honestly. In the middle. Like, you just no, made it seem right. so much less no, important. No, 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 like no, because 10 seconds. no, 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 I, I swear to God, like. In in middle, I've kind of forgot, but then I you're just, the one who reminded me every yeah, time. Yeah, but we no, saw it was other. one time. Every time I see you, I remember, but but, but then oh, I kind of forgot. Of I carried kind of on with yeah, my life, yeah, you know. Yeah. But I was very <laughs> specific on like what I wanted to do in my career, and everything just blended in really well. That's what I would I would I would say, and I'm always fan. If whether if I'm whether if I'm a Kinja or not, I will still be like a Kinja fan, and I feel like more th more than work. And we're more than business. It's somebody that I want to spend time with even when I'm like 60 or 70. You get I me? Mean? So I'm going to dive yeah. even deeper into it. Because every now and then, in, in honest and vulnerable moments, you sometimes say and admit that you're like, you know, I, I don't feel like I deserve it though. Yeah, what, of course. What do you mean by that? No, I just feel like my, with my um, uh, with my skill set and, and just, I, sh I think I should be better at, to a level that... Um, yeah, skill set. What skill say, set? Like dance skill set. Dance skill set. Yeah, you're pretty See, dope, man. Isn't 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 that isn't yes. that such a beautiful misconception though of like what it is even to be a squad or be in the brotherhood or, or the family in general? It's not only just brothers, right? We there's obviously women involved as well, but and it's not just about dance. I you know maybe it started off that way. And maybe that was like the most, again, tangible route or vehicle that connected everybody. Dance, obviously, was one of the most powerful things. And cheers. Cheers sure. to that, man. Cheers. Yes. Cheers to that. You know, dance definitely, like, we can't deny it. It's, it's one of the most powerful things that brings us together. Right? <laughs> yep. Definitely, bro. But. Some distracting coasters. Mm. But can we all agree, everybody, even, even Chad in this room, like at the end of the day, like that's not the own, that's not like the only prerequisite of what it takes to become, you know, part of this family. You can't just be a sick dancer. You like more important than being a sick dancer, you just got to be actual fan, like the the chemistry, the bond, the, the, the way that we, you know, respect and trust each other, the way that we put faith into each other and stuff like that, and how we like cultivate that kind of energy. That's what it takes, right? We always talk about people are like, how many, how many members are there in Kinja's? And our group, our, our group me has like 43 plus people. We got a lot. Yeah. But that's not what anybody ever sees. We don't have 40 people rocking on stage all the time. That's very, very rare. We got like 40 plus people that'll show up to a barbecue. You know what I'm saying? But like, even when we talk about actual like full time dancers, if we had like a gig pop in or something like that, there may be like at most 10 people on call. You know what I'm saying? And so like, it's not, and this is just us having a fun conversation and explaining the context, but it's it's never just about good dancing. So I, I'm just saying that to you, as I've said before, because one, I think you're crazy. You're a freaking phenomenal mover. We've talked about that many times, mm -hmm. but Two, it's really that's that's a beautiful accessory of like what ends up bringing us together. At the end of the day, you're like, how many? We had a drunk heart to heart at the birthday party. I remember one of the things. It was a beautiful drunk heart to heart. Uh, one of the things that we talked about though is like, I'm gonna just keep it 100 right now. 100 man. How many artists 
You know what I mean? Even in the Asian uh, hemisphere, how many artists have Ken just worked with over the decades? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Almost every major artist, K-pop, C-pop, J-pop, this pop, that pop, pop and pop goes the weasel, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And how many of them became squad? None but one. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's not about your music. That's not about your dance skill. That That's like, you know what I'm saying? That's about how we interact with each other and how we, we treat each other with respect, how how much we actually have like genuine love for each other. And that's what it's always been about, right? Legit. You make me feel like I, I want to retire right now. Retire what? Like, retire from Kinjas like already? Like you've already done I it. already accomplished the, the, only, the only one. <laughs> that was the shortest ever in the crew career. Thank you. <laughs> But no, yeah. seriously, thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to all my uh, seniors. I'm not the youngest in the crowd, right? In the squad. How old did you just turn? I'm, just I'm 29. 29? No, no, Jason's said. younger. Oh, Jason's yeah, yeah. younger, yeah. Jason's, oh, Jason's a baby. Jason's 24, <laughs> turning 25 this year. <sighs> 29. What? You say that like you're... Uh, I just see right now. No, it feels like it's my last year in the 20s, man. How does that feel? Hmm... I feel like I wish I have more time. I wish I had more time. Why do you feel you, you would wish you were more accomplished by this time? Or, I mean, I went through a lot to figure out, oh, what to know myself better, you know, and oh, this industry is that, and that industry, this. I went through, I met people that's like, you know, some, some, some shady people. Like, I mean, everybody goes through that in their life, but it took me really long, you know. But from outside, people be like, no, you're doing fine. You know, like you're, you're doing this. You're, it's cool. But inside, you just don't know how much shit that I went through. It's stark. You get what I mean? And I don't even want to get into it. But, but that's not how life works though, right? Exactly. So I'm not, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's not like I can change anything. But I just wish. Isn't there something poetically romantic and beautiful about the idea that you like, you know, in one sense followed after your father and like, you know, got to such a dope national level of fencing as well, though? Wasn't there, you know, something that inadvertently had, you know, bonded you and your father through that before me, you got into music? Me and my dad? Doesn't your, wasn't your dad also yeah, a fencer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah was, was there not some sort of, you know, father-son connection in some way, shape, or form? Maybe, maybe it was in, maybe it was subconscious, but the idea of even desiring to to get at such a high level, just your dad was in the Olympics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mom, and, and, and you were yeah. like a national champion as well, right? Like one of the youngest or something like that. Yeah, I was like the Kinjas in fencing. That's Cheers it. to that. Cheers, Cheers to that. that. Jeez. <laughs> I, need a, I need a refill. Do we have a... Little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Jason's got the whole bottle over there. A bottle of Hennessy. The whole bottle. And again, I don't know. I'm just digging here just based off of my understanding of your history and stuff. But I, you know, I would just assume that... I mean, I don't know why somebody would pick up fencing unless they were like super inspired by somebody who. Yeah, my dad. I was. <clears throat> I was forced to do it. Mm. Yeah, but then I forced. It was forced at first, but then I fell in love with it. I mean, everything is. Sometimes I feel like in life everything is in some way arranged already. You know, it's just like a natural, a natural path that it's already been done. That you just follow. Mm. Yeah, but at the same time, you can't you can't take advantage of that saying, oh, it's it's been arranged that I, uh, okay, I'll just not work hard. You actually said that to me at your birthday. You said, this has all been arranged. Everything is arranged. Yeah, I felt that. What do you mean by that? Like, is there a, a, like a spiritual aspect to that? Or do you just feel like we're all supposed to just organically find our way but it whatever oh, we're happens like all plugged in the matrix we're all plugged in the oh, matrix no, no, no. i just feel like work hard and focus on what 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 you have and what you believe in and if it's meant to be it will it will be you know i felt i felt that i love that yeah like you can't you can't force something and and, yeah. and if that if that thing you're trying to reach is not supposed to be for you it will never never be for you I just Dang, felt that bro. before. Before I felt like I'm, I'm internally. I felt like I'm invincible. You know, I if I want some, I want to do something. I'll get it, get it, do it. But at the end, I just r kept running into walls, and bleed hard. And and I just felt like, oh, you know what? Maybe there's another way, or maybe maybe not this. Maybe I uh, some other. I should find some other path mm. to to figure out the puzzle. Yeah. 
Do you feel now that you're at the end of your 20s, you know, you're 29? Yeah. Do you feel, uh, one, reflective? Uh, have you been like reminiscing and thinking, you know what I mean, from a reflective standpoint of your 20s? And basically, a real question I want to get into is like, what do you feel like were some of like the highlights or like the, the milestones for your life in your 20s? First of all, I'm still very far away from my dream, like where I want to land. But I think, you know, some 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 very, very memorable moments in my 20s would be the fact, first of all, the fact that I got into dance. You know, I wasn't really planning on dancing. I think I've mentioned this about, I mentioned about this earlier last time. I wasn't planning on dancing until I met the Kinjas in Hot Blood Dance Crew. Right? I wasn't serious about it, you know, and that's a very memorable moment. And, uh... The fact that I can see my parents more often because back back then I lived in Korea for for most of my like seven ten years twelve years actually, yeah, and Coachella, yeah, and Coachella is one of my um, I felt a very memorable moment and also the fact that I'm having my own concert as a solo artist, that too mm. it feels different. <clears throat> You said you haven't reached your dream yet or like your goal. Do you know what that is? Hmm. I want to. Um, this is the thing. I want to do. I want to do 100% me. And that more and more people could relate to that vision and story and also inspire them in their in their lives. That's this is my ultimate goal. Um, for the past 10, 10 years in my career, I felt like I've always lived um, compromising people. So I was doing what I, what I love, but 90% of it, 10% I always compromise. Oh, some people say this, don't do this, don't do that. You know, it felt like my hands were tied. So I want to live a life that um, I, I'm able to do 100% of what I want. Uh, in terms of the art, 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 art direction. And if I fail, I fail, you know, and if I succeed, well, cool. I want to do that before I'm 35 because I feel like my my peak, my prime time is between now and 35 in terms of my stamina. You know, like I can't do magic man when I'm 50, bro. It's not magic man. It's magic old man. No, it's, <laughs> you think I can just do every, the whole, the set that we're preparing for Coachella? You think I can do that when I'm fifty? No, I just want to like, like it's. I think it's my prime time in terms of my energy, mm -hmm. passion, stamina. I just want to go full out till I'm thirty five, and probably get married and have kids, and have a, a, a focus on family. It's a good goal, man. You, you know, some people would argue though, considering what you're doing, like even the be able to do 90% of what you want, 10% compromise. I feel like that's a pretty good ratio. You know, the world is is built with, you know, compromise Yeah, but won't, won't you, of course, I'm not saying every single day. I'm saying like at least few times, 100% of what you want. And, and, and again, just to, for the sake of conversation, con considering like where you came from, even like the K-pop circuit and Definitely. everything like that, right? Like, I think that there's always kind of like a, a unique stigma about that, culture oftentimes where you know whether the artists aren't necessarily in control of the things that they do or the record labels have like a lot of power and stuff like that you've you've done a very exceptional and unique job right like whether it be like starting team wang so that you could be in more creative control your own agency your own label doing your own fashion under your own name making your own decisions and stuff like that like you've actually done probably arguably one of the best in terms of like figuring out your own lane your own path and stuff like that especially coming from things like got seven and whatnot i, I, I definitely just, you know i just feel like you you're, you've been actually more of a positive and shiny example of what you are mentioning your I mean, dream might be when i'm when i'm talking about like 90 percent, 10 percent, i'm not saying it's a bad thing you know i just feel like it wasn't let's say today i want red so i don't want pink if i want red i want red if I want a visual of a of a product, whether it's a song or whatever I do, like artistically, in my career, I want it. I want red, but there are so many so many elements and factors as I ended up with like pinkish red. Mm. 
Yeah. Meaning that you feel like there's still a lot of other cooks Elements. in the kitchen yeah. or, or people that you have to sort of like Balance. take into consideration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So this, this is what I mean. Like I, w- I would rather die in my own hands rather than die in other people's saying, hands. Look, yeah. if I chose to do something and if I fail, cool, man. I, I'm still satisfied because I did it. But if I did something because I was it was 90 10% like 90% and 10% because of other elements I get it yeah yeah if I if I if I fail I would feel like double shit yeah you know no, I understand hey you know what? also cheers to that yeah <laughs> I, I like doing that I really wanted to um uh, we, we were talking about that too in our um birthday and my birthday our birthday at my birthday <laughs> Our birthday. I forgot whose birthday. Oh, it was my birthday. Yeah. Um, Our birthday. We're talking about the industry too. You know, you get I mean? Like, I feel like it's so hard when you're like, when you're like, um, honestly, I don't have any, I don't have a lot of friends. People from the outside, people are like, ah, oh, Jackson, you have so much friends and you're partying. You're this. Honestly speaking, I don't have a lot of friends. And the only thing, people that I think I hang out uh, with the most uh, is my team. You feel me? Well, I mean, I'm not talking about other I'm just talking like every 24-7, every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So which means when I work, oh, when, when, uh, the people that spends a lot of time with me, we become friends, we become family, but at the same time, we also work together. Yeah. That's so hard. We we're talking about that, remember? Yeah. It is so hard and... And and just don't know how to balance sometimes, you know, like family when 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 family emotions are involved in work. Have you seen? Mm. Do you, you ever watch the TV show Entourage? No, no. Well, you would love it. That's the end of that conversation. That's a that's a classic that you should definitely watch. Well, the whole point is, I'll quit Kendra's right now as long as you just feed me and put clothes on my back. I'll travel with you everywhere. We won't even work <laughs> together. I just hang out. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm good. I'll just talk to Nina once, let her know I'm gonna be gone for like three years, and I'll just hang out. We can just be friends. You know what I'm saying? So that's an option. You can consider it. You can talk to your team. We'll we'll get back. Get back to me. But I'm saying it's so hard. It's so hard when 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 of course while working together, even in this industry, if you're in a work uh, relationship, there's always benefit. It's I mean it's it's not it's not something bad, but it's just a fact. There's benefit, right? There's like trade. Mm-hmm. I do this, do this, your obligation, my obligation, right? But sometimes this shit is so hard. And this is what I've been going through like in more than 10 years. It's it's just, it could be a blessing. And I mean, it could be, it's like a gift and a curse, you know? So a double-edged yeah, sword. And I'm like, I'm not a businessman, you know? I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like, I feel like I'm a creator. And I, 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 uh, I create stuff. I have taste for stuff. I have an eye for, uh, for 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 product, you know, for 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 the output. But I'm not a business guy. I'm not a finance guy. Like this is, I just feel like that shit gets on my nerves a lot. I feel like in the industry, everybody. I'm sure you guys go through that too. And I think you know all the young people that are trying to you know make, uh, go for it, go go for their dream. They want to start a business and whatever that is, it's hard for them too. Do you feel like you uh, make decisions for yourself well, or do you need to bounce thoughts off of people? Or are you more of like, I know what exactly what I want to do? I'm more of that, exactly mm. what I want to do. But a lot of times things just don't work out that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a serious question. I know you want to get serious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is the last question. We're going to be serious. And after that, we're just going to riff about everything. Okay, Anything about else. Everything. You said you wanted to interview us, so you could do that. Yeah, too. I really wanted to. Okay. Yeah, last yeah, serious sorry, my question. <laughs> it's personal, though. You can avoid this question, too. Before that, let me. Can I point something out Uh-oh. for the dance community? Okay. Because I have so much respect. I feel like a part of my life is dance, too. And I love watching it. I love being involved in it. And I love creating it. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to say that uh, to me. Let me know if I'm wrong too. Like as an audience, as a as a as an as an as a fan of dance, I feel like at the end of the day, we we it's it, we have to uh, deliver it through video. Sometimes you know, not everything is live. You get me? We have to shoot videos, choreo, choreo, uh, choreo videos on it, and sometimes 
I would want to uh, let 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 uh, the young generation also know that. Um, that did I talk about it last time? Like, there's so many element to a video that can make it complete. It's there's creative, there's the dance, of course itself, but there's also like the location and also what kind kind of camera you you use. There's so many different element, and usually when you're in a big production or even any production, there's different divisions. I struggled so much back in the days because all those divisions were working individually. They mm. weren't on the same page. Mm, yeah. mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it felt like eating. It felt like eating a bunch of food, but you don't. You're full, but you don't know what you ate. Hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the choreo is super swaggy and groovy, but then the outfit is like, you know, something that is totally. It's 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 almost like ESPN and then Discovery Channel put together. It's, you get what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't relate. And sometimes the reason why I'm pointing it out is because it hurts your product. It hurts mm. the outcome of mm-hmm. of the video and whatever uh, art that you're trying to deliver. Yeah. You know, so I just wanted to share that to, to all the young creators that are trying to, trying to create, you know, yeah, because yeah, a yeah. lot of the time, you like, I believe it's more effective oftentimes to have like a, a thread that connects things or some sort of cohesive right. thought. Absolutely. That was like that's like how dance competition sets used to be back in the day, right? The right. the formula was just like you would take like six, seven different songs. You have to have an intro, outro, girls piece, boys piece, whatever, but it didn't necessarily have a theme, a story. It wasn't memorable. It was just it good dancing. Yeah, it was just right, good dancing. Right. And the costume would just be like, Oh, that's that stands out, but it didn't necessarily complement everything. And then suddenly people got more articulate, mature, and understood how to like be storytellers through the movement, be mm-hmm. understood that, like you're saying, the lighting, the video in the background, the costuming would contribute and complement a singular concept or a theme or a message. And then those ended up being way more memorable. You might not remember Definitely. the moves, but you're going to remember the feeling of the message that was given to you. And that at the end of the day is more powerful than just another mega mix of cool stuff. Definitely. Know? And Matt, like I, uh, there are so many situations, uh, experiments that uh, experience that I had in that past that I wanted something very sp- specific. So I filmed my own uh, video demo to the director. So it takes the director to understand what's in your brain, but we're different human beings. You know, he, if, if he can, if you're lucky, he can absorb majority of it. You know he can the, the, he, totally. he he will be on your on your on the same page with you, but not just that the camera director needs to feel what you're thinking too, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then they and then also like the producer or whatever they'll be like hey uh, th- uh let's use this camera because it's more high definition, it's more high quality, so and 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 when you run into the situation like this I hope we prioritize what we want first if it's mm. a quick uh, a pan. In the camera, it, we want to show the speed. Don't use a huge ass camera just because it's 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 a uh, high quality. We're not trying to shoot a movie here. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. So stuff like that. I, I think it, it, I was lost for like four or five years because of that. Mm. I just want. I think maybe me sharing that to the young audience will give them shortcuts to. to and not to, even young yeah. audience, just creatives in general. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah maybe yeah. they're like on the comments, you know what? We knew that like three years ago. <laughs> you know, maybe they'll say that to me. I, I just wanted to say that because it, it bothered me for four or five years. I was trying to compromise. So I just didn't want anyone, any other creators to, 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 to stress out because of that too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That was very insightful. Let's well, let's. I mean, if it's boring, that. you can cut it. No, out. you are you know? well. No, that was creative, good. So I think yeah, that's yeah. very credible. Slash, should we? Uh, now that we're taking a little cheers break, should we turn on the AC? It is yeah, a little man, warm, man, isn't it, right? bro? Yeah, it feels on. like a sauna here. <laughs> like, what's the purpose? Is it because the aircon? It's because you're hot. <laughs> and still, you didn't even let me ask my one question. Oh yeah, but but you, you get what, <laughs> hey, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Because yeah. I feel like I struggle. We, we I, I have been. I have been struggling with that for so many years. I also th- just think that you are, uh, like you said, you have you have a vision, you have you have thoughts, you have ideas, you have opinions and stuff like that, and you want to, you know, you're creative and 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 good enough to like want to see some of those ideas like done a certain way. So you deserve the that opportunity as well. 
There's some people that sometimes they work better because they're really, really good at their one thing. So they actually, it's complimentary to work with somebody who provides a different opinion or, or vision or eye or like, you know what I mean? And, and they work well together. I think that Kendra has, has benefited from that a lot. You know, maybe a choreographer has a vision, but maybe like the, the person behind the camera has a vision or the person in the editing room has a vision or the person who does the costume has a vision and coming together is what makes something profound and unique. And I just think that sometimes that works well, just as much as sometimes an individual who directs their entire thing from top to bottom by themselves also can do something extremely powerful. You know what I mean? But I just think that you are just very, very intelligent, creative that has an ability. I mean, you do fashion, you do music, you do dancing, you do, you know what I mean? You already are capable of the whole thing. So that means you're also capable of seeing the whole thing and being able to thread those things together. But not mm. necessarily every creative can do that. So it is also healthy and, and, and a good decision if you know your limits and you want to expand on those to work with other people that maybe have something else to offer. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. What was that question you wanted to you ask? You had a question. You I did have a serious question. question. Uh, when we were when we were talking, honestly, you know what I mean. I love I, your beard, bro. My beard? Yeah. I love your facial hair too. Yeah, I was trying to do try to grow it, but it took me. It it, it this took three days. You know, I'm I'm jealous of your being able to connect these yeah, I can't two do parts. That. I can't I can't do the connect. I think he's deflecting. He doesn't want me to get to my question. I'm sorry, sorry, my bad. No, no, it's just like uh, man, I'm sorry. That's okay. Sorry. He was just distracted by yeah. your beard. That's okay. You can keep on complimenting me. You can distract me at any moment if it's gonna be a compliment. Um, Love you. What bro. was my question? <laughs> you had mentioned again. You can avoid mm. this if you want. You had mentioned that last year was really, really tough for you. Yeah, I'm still recovering from from that uh, this year. What What was tough? From the outside, everybody thinks, oh, you're doing fine. You know, you're congrats on your uh, tour. Congrats on uh, your your fashion, your whatever, your, your business. You know, you seem to be doing OK and uh, congrats on that. But internally, like I have never been this lonely in my life. When I talk about lonely, it's not just physically. It's like my 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 soul. Because I, I was always a positive guy. Like, you know what? Let's go. You know, let's let's get it and let's work hard on it. Let's It's okay we fail, but let's go. I was always that kind of person, but I felt lost. When you're too close with the people that you work with, sometimes, because everyone's human being, right? Sometimes we, we, we just shift. Like, we, we, we get lost too. And then also I expected so much from yeah. everyone around me. So that's why I always, uh, when I meet my artist friend, I always share that story with them. Like, hey, uh, you can't rely on anybody. You can't expect people to understand what's in your brain. You know, it takes it takes a long time to 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 to, to connect. And also that, yo, know, if they're your team, even any labels out there, you know, the big labels, I I I assume you know the CEO or the employees in it, the staff in it, they're not artists. You know what I mean, artist is artist. And you create, but not everyone's like that. You have to understand, sometimes in those situations, you have to understand your role. And then I slowly tar- start to understand because, oh, but that's their, they, it's, we're in different fields. Yeah. And they are me in that field. Mm. So I start to start, started to um, understand it a bit more and more and more and more. That's the, that's the dark side I had. Who do you who do you like like call or I don't have re- that you don't have anybody that you reach out to yeah not even keep, like people from childhood people no. you grew up with no I'm right here no because like <laughs> the friends friends from childhood the the only friend I, 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 from childhood I have a business with him too mm. so See, that becomes complicated you get I me mean? yeah, yeah I love I, him I to understand. death you're maybe I, looking for something completely removed something pure that like because everything is so surrounded by that element you know what i mean mm-hmm. because this is even a little bit of what i was talking about in the beginning right it's like um it's like us coming to a deal it's like hey you got to get you know when you hit like 30 million followers you gonna become mm-hmm. changes and and like again on paper off top that looks the same thing it's about numbers it's transactional but that's why i'm like yo that's that's a tangible concept that is very surface level that represents something so much more grand, like a tip of the iceberg. That's not what it's about. That just happens to be a something that you can measure a moment of 
because everything else, there's no words, there's no words in the English language to describe truly what it is that we're, we're the thing that we care, uh, care about that we're experiencing, you know what I mean? That I'm, I'm sure that's similar or parallel in certain ways, even with people on your team and stuff, you know, the numbers are the things that maybe keep the lights over everybody's heads, make sure that they have a job to continue doing what they do to support you. But at the end of the day, there's still a profound. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, what if I mean? that's the case, I'm, I'm very, <clears throat> if that's, if that's, if that was that straightforward, of course, I don't have a problem with it, but it's just like the stuff that I'm, it's just the whole industry. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah stuff I that I'm mm-hmm. experienced. Like sure, I'm still growing man. up. I'm still growing up. That's why I'm experiencing all this. You know, I think this is really, this is a very interesting conversation because this is something that like, this is a, unfortunately, a common story. We hear about it all the time, right? People who kind of grow up in this entertainment industry, they get all the praise for all of their output, like the work that they do. And um, I mean, shoot, I mean, we're already on the topic, so I'm just going to just keep pulling that. But I feel like in Kinja's, it's like, Sometimes I I envy the bond that you guys share a lot because at least for me, I felt like you guys are very like tight. You get I me? Mean? Like as a squat squat. But then because I'm like connected with so many, like my team involves different divisions of a lot of people and I'm always away. Like I just lose that a lot of time. Well, keep it real. It's not always easy, <laughs> like uh, mm-hmm. over here too. I mean, like, yes, like our one of our pillars is kin at all costs, right? Like mm-hmm. family at all costs, but things get complicated, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, pandemics happen and people start to have to focus on what they have to focus on. And, and that's also, we can't help that because at the end of the day, everybody needs to survive in whatever way they need to do to survive. And so even that gets challenged. And do we talk about it? you know, all the time too. Like, yo, things are just different. As we all get older, it's just like, man, seasons change. And not to say that we we can't try to preserve an aspect of what we were once sort of founded upon, but that just also evolves and changes. Definitely. But like we do take the time to like Rebond. check in I and, check yeah, definitely. And, and have difficult conversations. Like Anthony and I have had many difficult conversations. I can, you know what I'm I saying? Can, yeah, I see. And, and, you know, the friendships and the brotherhoods, it gets challenged. But then like when you go through those trenches together and it come becomes, out the yeah. other side, and it doesn't always come out the other side the same. Mm. It just comes out the other side, however it comes out. But that's also... Going back to what you were saying, everything's all arranged. Everything is supposed to happen how it's supposed to happen. And so when I even, so bro, like if you are a Kinja, to me, you are a brother. And and I'm, everybody in, in the squad will tell you, bro, I am the most like, however you want to be around me, be around me, but I'm going to make myself as available to you as I can. Definitely. And, and people know that. And I'm very confident of that's how, that's who I am. But like, I feel like you saying that you wanted to be a Kinja, you don't, you don't need this. I mean, in the, it's not like you're clout chasing over here. Like, oh, I need to be a part of this dance crew. I feel like what you are saying is I want to be a part of a brotherhood. I want to be a part of a family that you you see that is what it is over yeah. here. And you want to be a part of that. And I love that because I feel like everybody needs that. Everybody needs a Kinja's, quote unquote, right? A, a place to belong, a place where they feel like this is my community. I get to just disarm when I come here. I get to be myself. If I feel like I need to cry or if I need a vent or if I need to just chill. And you know what I'm saying? And create and, you know, Definitely. create yeah, dope yeah, stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. but like do it all. Not like, that. oh, I guess only I can only be a type of way here, but be every type of way. Right. I just want to, you like, know this what I'm is what, exactly what I feel. I felt like I wanted to, wanted to get married, you know, not even for the title or whatever it is. Like, honestly, if it wasn't a, even, even before the, the joining I already felt like there. If you ask me what's before and after, I felt like I felt the same, because it's a we're already in that. I, I at least for me, you know, I felt like I'm already in that bond, and it's like, like I said, what does it mean, like, after 30, 40 years ago? Like I'm searching some, I'm searching something for that. You get me? Yeah. Like for when I'm sixty, when I'm seventy, I still want to hang out with my fam, and and 
That's all it meant, means to me. Not not like nothing aside, uh, nothing else, uh, nothing more than that. Well, definitely. Again, clear, you know, uh, validation and reminder that, like, again, this, you know, even you join in the squad. It's not like, hey, now we got to go make dance videos and <laughs> do X, Y, Z. It's like at the end of the day, it's it's like it's just an affirmation of our bond. And you know, uh, I I hope to, to remind you anytime you might feel lonely, like just remember that you could hit up any anyone in the squad. And, I just you know, yeah, what I mean? the reason why I'm telling saying this also, like, I want to say that. The reason why I say I'm recovering now, like I'm recovering this year, because I felt like I had a lot of, I had a lot to do with it too. I started to reflect before I just, I was just like, whatever reflecting, I just move on. Like I was mm -hmm. just looking straight and sprinting, but now it's just like, when I look back, Hey, I, I lost a lot of stuff, but I went through a lot of different problems and I start to pick up all the stuff that, you know, I start to review and reflect on myself. Hey, you know, I, I and that helped me a lot. And also, like, I realize a lot of people go through the same shit, too. You know, everyone's in some way alone in their in their soul and heart. But I felt like I thought it wasn't okay. But now I think, hey, it's, it's, it's a part of life and it's beautiful. It does sound, it does sound in a, and I love that you said that, that, that is beautiful, by the way, you know, I'm, I mean, all of us learning and growing and stuff and being able to even acknowledge stuff within ourselves is such a powerful uh, part of the life's journey, you know? Um, but it does sound, you know, even with everything you're mentioning too, this is why I was saying it earlier, it was like, maybe you could use something that is almost like completely separate from the hustle, from the business, from, you know what I mean? From everything that you have worked so hard for sprinting, you know, your entire life to get and obtain everything that you want for yourself, for your family, for your parents and everything like that. Maybe something separate. And you mentioned things like wanting to get married, having children, having a family, you know, being alone and stuff like that. Like how... What are you doing to to push? You know, finding like a soulmate, finding finding Man, your, hey, your love. Hey. You know what I mean. Before thirty five, I'm gonna get married. Okay, I'm gonna have a family, and if I don't, I'm just probably gonna post on social media like, hey, you know what, guys, I I I really need, like, because I feel like my fans and my audience they're my, like my friends. Yeah, and I was, you're very and, great with your fans. I yeah, gotta admit that like, they're my homies. You know, yeah. and and they have their life, they have their careers. A lot of them in different industries. And I support them, and uh, it goes is both ways, you know. And yeah, if I'm before thirty five, if not, I'm just probably gonna maybe at thirty four. I'm like, guys, I think I have a year left. And have you explored the dating world at all? It's hard, bro. Like because I don't. I for the for past ten years, I've been flying around. Hotels are my home. It felt like at least where I was staying. Right. But it felt like <clears throat> where, wherever my parents are, that's my home. And sometimes even when I get back to my real home, like my, my, my apartment, I feel strange. I feel like, I feel like, oh, she's, is not really like my house, the vibe of it, you know? You don't feel at home at your actual place yeah. where you call home. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. No, not with my, the, the one in Korea oh, or yeah, like yeah. other places. But when I'm with my family, even if we're in a hotel, it feels like home. Mm. But not like, you get what I mean? 10 years, man. I never had a break for 10 years not even vacation but you, you gotta not put, even now 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 feels like vacation for me right now welcome to the kinjas podcast where it feels you like a vacation me? that's great man. and i recently had one day vacation with my parents we went to hainan uh-huh it's like the hawaii of china yeah yeah, yeah. Went to hainan a beautiful place and we arrived uh, we, we started to we arrived 7 a.m. in Hainan and we started drinking 11 a.m. You drank with your parents? Yeah. Oh, my parents can kill me in drinking, man. <laughs> Yo, That's tight. He, there, my dad's 66. He can kill me. 11 a.m. We drink until 4 a.m. <laughs> Mao Tai. The Chinese is really good. Dad, how can you... 66 how can you still like you killed me that's that dad energy man yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's one a cool day. moment though man that's one day vacation moment. one day vacation <clears throat> i've never had that with my dad man so that that sounds like a a, a beautiful 
What, 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 is he very strict or what? No, what? my dad, pa- uh, my dad passed away. Oh, well, before dad, that, I mean, he, he got shot when I was, when I was 14 years old. So, um, but he, you know, he like survived. And then I actually talked about this on another mm-hmm. episode, but he survived with brain damage. So I never had a proper, uh, father son relationship where like, I grew up with a father who was like teaching me things and was able to have a, you know, give me my first drink or any of that. So I, I when, when I hear stuff like that, man, that's. That's very heartwarming, mm. bro. That's that's cool. even with my mom. Mm, mm. But my mom don't drink. It was fun. It was, it was fun. And and like you did that recently. Was I that... did it recently before I come to LA. So how often do you do that? Like once with your a year. Once a oh, okay, so you do it at like, least once a year. I meet them. I haven't been able to meet them a lot for the past twelve years. Mm. You don't have, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have a brother. He's Australian. He, uh, he's in, he's in Sydney. And are you guys, he has a, he has a daughter, good? right? He has a daughter. Like we, he went there for like 18, 19 years and yeah. Are I mean, we're, close at all? we're close, but at the same time, we feel like it's been 18, 19 years that we're like, you know, he mm. left when I was what, you know, 10. You What's know? the age difference? Eight. He's in uh, 1986. Okay. It's my year. Oh, really? Tiger. Mm. Tiger. Mm-hmm. Yeah uh i don't know man like i love him to death Mm -hmm. as my brother but it's just like the the gap you get me like he's been gone for too long you mean and then we started to connect and it takes time to to bond again Mm. you get me you still got time yeah yeah Speaking of the time, you've done a great job avoiding my question about how you're looking for love. Fuck, man. You still remember that? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> There's a question. Oh, before the question, can we get a quick like a commercial break? Oh, yeah. Um, um, uh, Kinjas Dojo for beginners. Yeah, Kinjas Dojo's IO. Yeah, Kinjas Dojo.io where you can learn. Right, Kinjas. Kinjas. Okay, three, two, one. Kinjas okay, Dojo. Yeah, yeah, io. Okay, give me some time. We need three seconds to fucking like clear out. See, this. Okay, right. Same as first rodeo. Kinjas Dojo. Io. Lessons online by the masters. That's it, right? That's that's not bad. I mean, that's that's definitely words by you. We've never said that before. We don't we don't oh, call sorry, ourselves sorry, masters. Okay, okay. but oh. I I'm mean, I'm flattered. Okay, fuck yeah, one more time. Just go learn. If you want to learn dance, just go on. If you can't physically be there to learn the choreo, learn at home. And it's kinjas.com. <laughs> <.io>. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. And it's kinjas.io. Kinjasdojo.io. And it's kinjasdojo.io. If you don't have the time to learn uh, physically in the studio, you can always, you know, available. You can learn at home, anywhere. It's just online. And you can log in and learn from the Kinjas. That's the best. This guy has a whiskey in his hand and he just, just did a Kinjas dojo at, with, I mean, with, with, with whiskey in We're going to work on it, but I think we, <laughs> we got something. Hey, you don't have to be like super slow, like smooth and stuff as long as people get the message, right? That's true. As, as long as they don't get the wrong website. Oh, one more time there. If you want to learn dance, you can't physically be there, but you still want to learn online. Kinjasdojo.io is the plan. I felt that, dude. That was I pretty felt good. That, felt that, that was, was like heart. your second intro that you were more yeah, happy about. Yeah, you just gotta, just gotta give it another go sometimes. I fucking love you, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right, no more serious shit. Okay, no more serious shit. How are you looking for love? How are you <laughs> with your wife right now? Wow. How, how are is you that with not your serious? Hey, that's fucking, <laughs> hey, if. If we can talk about it personally, like off camera, I feel like all the audience, followers, whatever in this community deserves to know. This guy Absolutely. Keep it real, man. Keep it real. Why not? Absolutely. What's how, the question? How is it? How's it? How's your marriage life, brother? Imagine, look, I have to get married. No, not have to. I would love to get, I, w- I would love to get married before I'm 35 because I want to see my kids longer. Absolutely. Right? Mm. And I love, I want to be best brothers, best sister, like, like as, 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 uh, best friends, sorry, sure. best friends with my kids. Yeah. Kid or kids. <clears throat> um, so, ladies, have, single ladies out there sending your resume to uh, can just dodge the Honestly, I don't know if, even know if I have kids. It depends on. Do you know how many kids you want? I don't know. It depends on my wife, I feel like. If she, if she wants kids, I'll, 
I would love to, but it's, you know, it's too well, much. Well, you definitely got to come to that understanding before you get married with them. Too much pain. You know, I feel like it's just too much pain to, to, to give birth to kids. So that's why I want my so wife So would you be to... down with a girl, with a wife who doesn't want to have of kids? Of course, man. Oh, you're down with that? Yeah, of course, because oh, okay. it hurt. it's so much pain, dude. Well, you could also, you know, women have been doing it for like thousands of years. But other than that, you could totally also just find a wife who also wants kids. Like have that conversation. That's not the conversation I'm going to bring up in the first, hey, it was like, hey, nice. nice Nobody nice said the first date. You you're not going to get married after so the first date. Wants... Maybe not first date, but by date. Three to five, you gotta. You I just want to let it. You gotta talk about that stuff. Blend, naturally blend. All right, all right. Wow, you're such an easygoing guy, Jackson. What a great guy. You're a very. What am I gonna do? If I can statistic and tell them to fill in forms and. You know you what's want... interesting? People be doing that nowadays, oh, really? right? Like online dating online and stuff dating, like that. Bro, like Tinder th shit? There's already like almost like set profiles, so you can get past. You know what I mean? Some of the small talk oh, and the yeah. bullshit. Yeah. You can, so you can make People are it. doing that, man. Whether it be faith based, you know what I mean? Religion to uh, preferences in like lifestyle, the way that you are, you know what I mean? The okay. amount of kids that you want, whatever. Those things can kind of already be pre selected in a sense that so you're almost swiping Look, for the I right just, people. I just don't want to make my other half, partner, wife, you know uncomfortable of course if nobody she wants doesn't that, want to yeah. oh give birth and then but it's, so it's like it's if, so painful if you found a super super dope girl and she's like perfect for you in every way but then she just doesn't want to have children you're not you're that's not a deal breaker for you oh basically. definitely not mm. because she's going through pain i just can't stand that yeah hey. what about the pain that you might have a regret of not having children that's a good question that's a great, great question hey i just i don't know i i never thought about that it's just that i feel like it's so much i should be your wife because i think about these things for you you know what i mean and you know what i my prediction for you is as you enter your 30s you're gonna know i am and you're gonna be like man. you know what this is a non-negotiable for me that's the beauty of your 30s you start to really just like you know what I'm down for that, not down for that. And then I'm just going to make sure that I carve my life to be a, the been, way that I want it to be. Just like the way that you're talking about artistic, built, the ability to be like, I want to execute with what I want to execute. That, uh, you're going to figure that out with just life, bro. Mm, the 30s is going to really shape that for you. You're correct. Maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll experience and maybe I'll evolve into another, having another thought, but for the, at least for the past 10 years, I would think. I would say, I that's my thought, and my it, it's been my thought, and it's my my thought currently. Hey, if you've always wanted kids, I pray that you find a wife that also wants kids, yes. because like you know that's that's part of the relationship, right? You know what I mean? I, like, I, I, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not. It's up to her. That's what I'm trying to say. Sure. Yeah. Sure. sure. I understand that. That's very empathetic. Yeah, but that's very... not my question, bro, man. I'm asking. I can't you believe you remember that. I, was, I can't believe. So amazing. I still remember that you're gonna ask me a personal a question, memory. but we'll get back in that that the previous conversation. But what? How? 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 How's everything, man, with your life? How's my wife or how's my life? No, how's your marriage life with everything your career? <laughs> insane, you know, right? like what's, yeah. what's up, man? People want to know. People want to know. People, okay, well, shit. Um... No, honestly, a hundred percent for real, for real. <laughs> People you know, sometimes, care, man. you know, uh, when you when you get recently married, as I have been, a lot of times people are like, well, how's marriage? Like, what's the difference? And I think that's such a, such a fun question, right? Obviously, I'm experiencing something brand new for the first time, hopefully last time. That's beautiful. You know? um, but I think it's, it's you don't, uh, somebody put a beautiful analogy before. It's like putting a bunch of like rocks in a cup, right? You feel like your cup is full and you didn't realize that there's still so much room because the second you, you put like sand in it, suddenly there's so many more crevices to fill you know mm -hmm. what i mean you, or, or or another analogy you might think you got like the the meat of your burger but something as basic as like a sauce or like ketchup so small it's not the first it's not the major thing but it makes the flavor so much more intense it completes i feel like that's what like marriage yeah. is like sometimes because you think you have everything you need but there was like a small garnish that changed everything about that dish. Oh, shit. You know what mm. I mean? There's something so powerful and beautiful about that that I would have never, you would not know until you start to taste and experience that mm. type of thing. You know, like the 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 change in trust. And as much as this is like a joke, uh, it's like the comfort in which you like will fart in front of your spouse. <laughs> it's just different. It's like, you can't leave me now. I know this. 
You know what I mean? It's just deeper. You're going to deeper fart. You know what I mean? Those types of things that that 1% change is is actually more powerful than like the former 50% to get there and mm. and like those those that difference like i don't know how to explain it but it's there and and it's 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 powerful you know what i mean mm. um maybe uh, and maybe this stems from like a, a concept of uh vulnerability and insecurity mm. when you're not married mm. but there's always this unchecked like little notion whether you're subconscious about it or not in the back of your head like this may not work out mm. but when you commit to that lifelong till death to us part type of marriage and that one little thing is gone too, suddenly the way that you perceive things is different, mm. right? Like even one of the conversations that me and Nina recently had, uh, which was uh, both challenging, but also so dope, is that, you know, we've been spending our whole lives like in compliment, uh, complimenting each other for sure, being a couple, but like it's kind of her life and it's my life. My career, what I got to do for that, you know, what I got to do for Kinja's, what I got to do for my job, everything and whatnot. Now that we're married, now she's changing her last name to Lee. Suddenly there's this team us thing. What are we doing for our team? You always thought you was working on things for your, your, both of your future. You thought that. But it's not until you start filing taxes as a married joint couple. It's not until you start, you know, her last name is being changed to your last name. When you start thinking about trusts and, and, and when are you going to have kids or like whose name or where are you going to pull a loan from to buy a house and whose name is going to make sense under considering oh your guys' fine. Everything is joined and you're like, whoa. Chad, I love Chad's nodding right now. You know, Chad's he knows what's up. You know what I mean? Mr. Mary Man over there as well. And, and it's just like these... These things that you just don't necessarily focus on when you're not married, suddenly like you, it feels like your life just started all yeah. over again. Cause now it's not just about like Anthony Lee anymore. You know what I mean? It's about team us and how we're gonna like work together to figure out life. And it's a whole new conversation, you know what I mean? And, and there's parts of it, like I said, it's challenging, but it's also so beautiful. You know, so um, I don't know. It's just exciting. I'm I'm completely back into an unknown, um, but I think that's what we enjoy so much about the excitement of life. It's never mm. about knowing exactly how things are gonna work out, but it's about like knowing that you're gonna like be on that unknown ride with somebody. You know, so yeah, it, I think it's it's both um, so uncertain but so fun right now you know mm. to, to be in that situation with nina i'm so happy to be there I'm with so her happy that's dope for you bro and you know and, we're having honest yeah. conversations even about like all right so when we gotta have kids we've talked about it before yeah, right yeah, but now it's like now it's like starting to kind of get ready you feel oh, me oh, like, wait, try what? And the it's little me is coming out just, no no just the conversation about tr for real trying like you know i'm I'm gonna keep it real. Like, you know, at the end of this year, we might for real start trying. Okay. You know? But I thought you've been trying every day. Nah, we still wrap the tools hey, sometimes. I, see, this is know? the thing. I don't know what is trying. Like, what just is letting trying? it go? <laughs> right? Yeah. Just like, what is, what is, what is trying? Like, uh, oh, uh, intentionally, Leaving it intentionally. In no, on I purpose. No, no, intentionally. <laughs> intentionally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I say trying, I think it's because there's a, there's a realistic part of a self-preservation that you go into this thing, right? Mm. You, we we, have, we know, I, I bet you all of us know somebody that tried to have kids, but maybe it took a year. Maybe uh, it took two years. Maybe there was miscarriages oh, along the way. Definitely. Right? Yeah, and it's yeah. like, mm -hmm. so, in, in I've, you know, in my own, in our own, in our own ecosystem and families, there's been things like miscarriages. Definitely, so you, you kind of want to... Yeah. There's a part of you that starts wanting to kind of like accept reality and have this self-preservation mechanism that's just built in where you moderate your expectation because you don't want to be like, all right, I'm going to try and have a kid this year. I'm going to have a kid. And then like if something doesn't work out, oh, right, right, you're right, devastated. Right. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's why I'm at the end of the day, no matter how excited I am for it, I'm going to keep it at trying. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For that's for true. both of our sake. Definitely. You know? Mm. So it, it's, uh, again, it's scary, but I think that's the whole point, knowing that you're not going alone into you, something kind of fearful you both right? want kids we do oh that's beautiful we do. and oh. we we came to that understanding before you know even be, becoming like engaged because that was just like a same thing i've also you know known close friends and stuff like that where it's like the couple comes into an agreement that oh we both want kids the second they get married it's, uh, the girl's like 
oftentimes the women it's like oh you know i i don't want children and, and you know to, to i'm not saying it's a bad thing like maybe they're really hyper focused on like a part of their career that they didn't know was going to happen that's that fair happen to guys too. That, mm-hmm. yeah that's that's yeah. you know that's True. a that's an yeah. honest thing like I, and you know it, it's it's difficult for women sometimes Definitely. that suddenly have to like put their whole life on pause because they're the ones that have to actually go exactly. into labor and give birth so yes. like you know i empathize and and mm-hmm. that's a realistic thing but that does sometimes in the marriage because mm. what was a joint venture at first what was an agreement that has changed and somebody else's life have to has to compromise mm. no matter who's right and wrong that's not the point the point is life changed definitely you know mm. so mm. that's why i think it's a mature and responsible thing for any couple to like come to an understanding again anything can happen but at, at, if you truly try to come to an understanding and have trust in your partner then you should have those kind of responsible conversations before signing that paper that says mm-hmm. you're in it for the long haul you know mm-hmm. so beautiful man mm-hmm. i still remember when you were talking about i still remember when you were talking about you 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 and her getting married and that moment when you're got when you guys are um in the hills or in a garden or i forgot but it was just you and her and then you you guys oh you propose you're, you're, you when you propose I, we proposed at the complex recipes, there was a lot of people yeah, there yeah, yeah there was a lot oh, of no, people there. It, wasn't it wasn't proposed you guys were uh marriage or whatever oh oh, oh oh in hawaii yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you you guys shared that beautiful moment together and then it was so simple it was so basically nothing but it felt packed yeah yeah you know that 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 speech speech that you um gave her yeah it was a it was a it's it's so it's such a beautiful uh, fun dichotomy also because again I never f- saw and you know I didn't know exactly you you think you you know how life is gonna play out but everything always is different than you expect you know my proposal right like very in in one sense fun grand everybody that could be there friends family and stuff like that all the most important people you know are all there for this like magical moment made it as fun and grand as possible with this surprise dance performance and stuff. <laughs> I wish I was a part of the dance performance. <laughs> no, it's not a good or bad thing. I was just, I wish. And it's I a genuine wish. wish. It's a genuine yeah. wish. Uh, yeah, of course. No, no, nothing personal. I was just, I wish. <laughs> Whereas, you know, the wedding ends up being just me and her, you know, like not even our, our parents or families that we just needed to do something for ourselves Dude, that was the way such, that we wanted like, to. Extremely yeah. one way and extremely And I would have I would have never guessed. Like you would have asked me prior, like, how is your wedding gonna be? Like I, I would have never thought that, but you know, just life just played out and it's spontaneity and you mm-hmm. know, and, and it's circumstance too, right? Yeah. You know, the pandemic was a, was a tough time, but you know, we made it work because we wanted to do something for ourselves. Yeah, but cheers to the beautiful like to the beauty. beautiful marriage that yeah. you have. Thank man. you, and thank you for asking. No, but for real, I'm really happy for you as a brother. Thanks for sharing that, man. I didn't even know this. I didn't even know. Yeah, okay. like I, I wanted to know how how marriage life has been, man. And see, this is why we talk about we have a podcast because we talk about the real stuff here. Yeah, and we didn't, <laughs> we don't even do that when we're hanging out. We also never interview ourselves on the podcast. That's also true. Yeah, what about you, That's also Ben Hill. Yes. What a, what's up, man? What what do you yeah, mean? What's up, Ben? What what is up? No, you know what I'm specifically. Saying, man. What, what? I'm, <laughs> not, like, I'm, not married. I'm not married. Like, oh, what, 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 I'm not married. I'm not married. So I'm I'm 41. Oh I'm, oh, I'm turning. Oh, I'm uh, turning 42 this year. The year of the dog. The rooster. Oh no, no my bad. My 81. Bad, yeah. Pirate uh, pirate year. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah my so bad. Oh, I'm no. turning 42. Oh, you're t- oh my bad. yeah. I thought you you're turning forty one this year. Yeah, no, so I'm turning like forty two this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, my bad. And um, you know, I thought I was gonna be married by thirty, bro. You know what I mean? Like I I thought in my twenties, I'm like, oh, I'm for sure gonna be married by thirty, and then have right. kids by like early thirties. And man, life is life is life. It just doesn't necessarily give you what you thought you had planned. And it just naturally turned into what 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 it is. Yeah, but you know, there's there's like as you were talking about earlier, man, you know, you make your, you know, things that you aren't so proud of, you make your mistakes and decisions to do things that you're like, man, I wish I hadn't done that and or I wish I was, you know, a bit smarter about this and there's a lot of that. Definitely. And and so, you know, at 41 going on 42, you know, I I also I'm also at a place where I also have to be like what if I never get married? Mm-hmm. 
Am I going to be okay? Are you, you have fear for that or you don't? No, I don't think I do. I, I mean, I think I want to get married, mm -hmm. but there is a there is a big side of me that is okay if I mm -hmm. don't. Because having been single for so long, I think I know how to live this single life very well. And it's not the like, oh, I get to party and I get to go hook up and do whatever I want. I have nobody to answer to. That's which not Which you can't. But it's just sure it's a, uh, if that choice. was the option that I wanted mm -hmm. to go for, I could. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. not what I want. Definitely. And that's not fulfilling at all to me. But I know for me, like I am able to utilize my my time because, I mean, at the end of the day, life is about time. Right. Mm -hmm. We can't reverse the clock. The mm -hmm. clock will go without us, whether we want it or not. And and when you are married, when you have children, your time is now not your time. Like you, you have, you, it is now divided with your spouse, your children, and you know, you gotta, it is not yours anymore. Mm -hmm. And not to make it about just selfishly like, oh, I get to go play and enjoy myself, all of it. But like, I have learned, um, especially in the past, during, I'll just say the pandemic, the pandemic mm -hmm. really made me like, think very like intently about what what really matters in life and it's it's the imprint that you leave on this earth and you don't your people don't remember you for your accomplishments and the the awards and how much money you had and how many followers you had they remember you for how you made them feel definitely like of how you the impact you made yeah the, like who were you in their life not like what did you accomplish and and I've learned that the people that have had the most impact on my life were the people that sort of served and gave themselves up for me and sacrificed for me. So like for me, I've learned I only really care about serving people and I want people to feel loved. I want people to feel seen. I want people to feel heard. And so if I can do that and if I can do that as much as I want, anytime mm -hmm. I want, right. that's amazing. So to me, singleness is the freedom to use my time in the way that I feel like it's available. Mm -hmm. The more, if, I, if I have to divide that with my, a wife or a child, not to say that that's a bad thing, that's mm -hmm. a great thing, uh, yeah, it's an course. amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. thing, right? But if I don't get to do that, that means I have more time to do the serving aspect of it to give back. and to give to people. Mm -hmm. And, and that's not just like, Oh wow. I'm been such a great person. Cause he just, no, it fulfills me. Like mm -hmm. it, like to, to serve and to connect with people. Like I get something out of that. Okay. Like I feel fulfilled. I feel like, wow. Like, you know what? It's not about me. And, and, and the fact that we got this like human to human connection that fulfills me. And that, that helps me go back home and feel like, yo, it's not about just me. I'm not alone. Um, everybody in some way is going to feel alone. But when you can connect with somebody who feels alone and you feel alone and you're like, whoa, we're both feeling alone. So I guess we're not alone because we have each other. Mm. And it's it's that's why I love so much this podcast too, bro. Like, so funny. We said we were going to get serious, but I think we got more serious in this episode than way we always more again, serious Way time. more serious. Just for everybody that's listening to this and watching this, I always felt like I was talking to Anthony. And I was like, why is Ben Hyung is really serious? <laughs> <laughs> is that really? But I feel like you need that because it's still a podcast, you know? It's still like. But you know, like, like, but it, you need people to conclude. Sure. To, you get what I mean? Sure. And that's, I felt like, you know, it's, it's Ben Hyung. But dude, I, I, I do feel like, yes, my desire. Yeah, I want a wife. I want to have kids. I want all of that. And But I also know. Send yeah, your resume. Yeah. Can just dodge it Y'all know, man. I'm putting it out there. I'm, I'm living that single life. But I also know what I want. And, and like. Oh, right. And, Specific. And it's sure you can call it picky. But I have my values of like, man, there's like some very clear non-negotiable things for me. Things like, you know, about my faith and things like mm. that. And so, you know. If you ain't Christian, he ain't fishing. Anthony gave me that tagline and I live by it. I live by it. And that's what he always asks me. Anytime I'm dating somebody, he asks me that. You ain't like, fishing? <laughs> yeah, dude. You know. But Casting anyway. a line, you know. Yo, Ben Hyung is available. So guys. <laughs> Jackson yo, Wang is yo, available. Dude. You guys are missing out. <laughs> ben Young is available. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you waiting, man? Like, I bet there's so many like 
people in the community, you're not like, oh, I wish. Do I send Ben this message? Like, hey, my my DMs are open, you know, y'all. Yeah, you know, do I send him this? <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's like, I don't know. But if you send ain't Christian, right send it he right ain't now. fishing, Facts. dude. Facts. And so with that said, man, I mean, dude, I am loving life and I am very thankful for um, legit everything as it is, even the stuff that's a little bit unsure and the stuff that's a little bit uncomfortable. And like, dude, I appreciate you coming on here um, and and talking so openly about things not being as the world may perceive it to be. You said like everybody looks at you, oh man, you must be freaking killing it in life because you did this, you did that, you're doing this, you're doing that. And that somehow equates to this, like you must be living the happiest life. And you're very, like you're voluntarily saying, nah, dude, that's not like that's me being happy, right? And you're even yeah. saying something, you're lonely. Bro, that, that takes a lot of courage, bro. That takes a lot of like, boldness and courage to be able to say stuff like that but i think that's the real stuff that people need to hear because let's just keep it real bro there's more people out there that are not living the jackson wang life on exactly. that level right exactly and I and wanted... they they are feeling oh man i'm lonely i'm not really like you know because i'm not making the money that i want to make i don't have the <laughs> followers that i want I, i'm not doing all these cool things and going to all these cool places of course, but someone like a Jackson Wang, like he must be killing it and life must be a whole different thing. But you are saying, no, I'm feeling lonely. And, and like that evens out the playing field. And I think that's what people need to know. Like the human experience, doesn't matter how much money you got I and just, how much influence right, you have. You're completely it's the same. correct. My guy. No, for real, you're yes. completely correct. I just feel like, I exactly, I wanted them to know that all these things that you're looking from an, uh, from the outside, the fame, the popularity, the followers, whatever it is, honestly speaking, it's bubbles. Mm, I can lose that tomorrow. Right. It doesn't mean shit. Right. You get I me? Mean? That sometimes plays with our mind. And if we let that thought lead, it's all game over. Boom. It's done. So I just always feel like, oh, that shit is just, okay. I appreciate it. But has nothing to do with me. I, what I believe, what I focus, keep that, and always be in that in that channel. Like don't 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 get satisfied because oh is it, oh I have a couple million followers. I have this. It doesn't mean shit. Yeah, and that's the thing is you know you doing you you being who you are. That's what people are fans of. People aren't yes. fans because other people are fans of you. You know what I mean? Like that's that's not what it's about. And you know, we even live in a world where like the US is trying to ban like TikTok and stuff like that. You can have like millions of followers on TikTok and then the app gets deleted. Like we're not in control of so many of those Definitely, things. But well we are in control of who we are who we are, who we want to be and, and the decisions and the actions that we make that inspire other people. And I think that's what people have, have fallen in love with people like you, people who respect and, and follow the kindreds. Like that's what they're following not mm -hmm. not the image and the brand so Definitely. much just because of what it is or at least those are like true supporters and followers you know yeah. they the, the fact that i was sharing like i was lost in this i'm still recovering you know from the outside people think it's good i'm sharing it because i know everyone is going through that in some way i just want to point out like it's okay but like what you believe in, what your gut feeling is, just fucking trust that. Mm. You know? And I, I always believe, like, die in your own hands. Like, don't get, don't have your hands tied or, like, whatever other people are trying to, like, I get it. Sometimes maybe com uh, compromise, but you still, it's your life, your standard of happiness. Everyone is different. And what, what might what might be happy to me doesn't really translate to you, but you get I me? Mean? The standard is so different. Yeah. Trust yourself and live your life. If you believe in some shit, fucking do it, man. You feel lonely? Okay, it's okay. It's a part of the process. As long as you're doing what you love and as long as you, 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 you're you focused on, you're very specific on what your color is, you know, what your tone is, what your style and taste is in any any industry. Yeah, so you I want red, you get red. Not some like semi-pinkish yeah, red. Man, you know it, what I mean? I've been getting like pinkish red for 10 years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I feel like now I I 
I am. I'm happy. You know, like even I had this deep conversation with my team. Like I said, you know, guys, you know, mentally I was fucked up. I'm sorry for that. I also realized, you know, how my uh, situation, my emotions can affect the team, you know, and, and I feel sorry. I apologize to everyone, whoever that I was, uh, I worked with or is still working with. And, and, you know, that changed the game that changed the, the, the whole environment, the vibe. Curious, when you right. say stuff like that to your team, does anybody respond to you with a certain type of, like, what is that response when you say stuff Look, like that? At first, when we work together, everyone has different thought. Like, they sometimes they think, oh, is Jackson trying to play, like, mind games with me? Sometimes, we'll be like, oh, Jackson, is he, like, is he, like, super, because he's very creative, is he, like, doing some uh, shady shit behind the back or whatever? There's so much doubt, I believe, not just from working, but even, like, human to human mm. there will be doubt but i think the more we dare to communicate and say what the fuck is real it will i feel like it will translate Ooh, i love that yeah bro. like if that. i hate you or some shit i like i could be like i feel like normal normal uh human being correcting me if i'm wrong like normal human being would just like probably not talk to you like oh yeah it's just maybe oh okay okay and then bye you have a lamp here mm. <laughs> don't be afraid to communicate to the lamp <laughs> if you don't like it just tell it that no, you don't sorry, like sorry. it you get yeah. me like if it will be like that but to me it's just like if i don't if i have a problem with it i will tell you how i feel and and i feel like it's communication a lot like i think that it is communication the thing that's recovering the reason why i feel like this right now is because i'm very transparent and i share everything with my team I don't expect. Maybe they could lie to me. I don't know. But at least I open up my heart to them. And hey, this is what if I think this is not okay. But correct me if I'm wrong. You know, if I say some shit that you think is, hey, it's not, it is irrelevant. You'll tell me that. And it's back and forth. And then we become something that's more stronger. I believe that. Mm. But at the end, if they're still trying to play games, Mel, you tell yourself like, hey, maybe I just got to move on. Mm. You know, sometimes I'll lose stuff, whether it's whatever it is, you know, I'll just, you know what, take that, take it, love you still, because we experienced shit together, take it, but I can't, I just got to move on. Yeah. And that's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This shit is too serious, man. No. Fuck, it's way right, too let's serious. Talk about, let's talk about uh, magic, magic, ma magic, magic milk. Yeah, we had John Hyde here yesterday. We did have John Hyde here about yesterday. Magic Milk. Shout out Magic Milk. Yo, Magic Milk is so good. <laughs> I think, honestly speaking, I love the good blueberry cake, but I, also, I love the Magic Milk cookie. Yeah, okay, yeah. dude, their cookies are like, oh, I fucking yeah. Yeah, I have right. a bunch of their cookies here, actually. I have four flavors. We have four flavors oh, here. They're so bomb. I feel like their the cookie is from Mars. You know, it's it's just... I've never had that cookie. I'm gonna pull from the tiger now. I never, I never, I never had that cookie before, man. I love, I love. It's it's incredible. I yeah. really like it. Kindred's Dojo Io. What the fuck is that? That's the butt is of the, the tiger. Class. What does that have to do with Magic Mike? Not... Magic, magic, magic Mike. <laughs> hey, Jackson. <laughs> magic Milk. That's a good plug, what, huh? No, Speaking of plugs. No. No. Uh, hey, what? Hey, what does it have to do with magic milk? Cheers. I don't even know where we're at. I just, yeah, but I love cheers. it. I love it. Is this one of those episodes you don't fucking know what we're talking about? It's. It's. it's this is. Like a, ben said it perfectly. This is a way better episode than our last one. We were. I was drunk. All we needed. One. Who was? Who was the last guest? No, I mean our last one with you. Oh, our last one? Yeah, we were just bananas the whole time. This one we're actually talking about real shit. But you, I, you know we're what bananas? I feel like it is? Like whatever. Yeah, like, like this shit is bananas. Like, my face was bananas too back then. It was pretty like, bananas. It was very, oh, Half I your was, hair is bananas I, I did, right I now. Made, I did my makeup and then we're, okay, yeah, you very got the pretty. Hair. And then You're not, rocking maybe facial not hair pretty, today. But like very polished in my way. Um, you definitely just said you were pretty. I Like very pretty in terms of the makeup, man. You're doing this right now? No, from here to here okay from here to here <laughs> like you know i had makeup what, yeah. what are you gonna say i don't even know what i was gonna say bro he got <laughs> lost in our pretty good ben's sitting here like oh, i'm like fuck. i mean yeah we're talking about the the look i mean yeah you're rocking the fit now you know what i was gonna say is this bro i feel like the difference between today 
and the last time. And I might just be projecting this, but I'm just observing it and you can speak on it. Mm-hmm. You were Jackson Wang, the international pop superstar. Just on TV. The last time you were here. Mm. And then this time you're here as Jackson Wang of the Kinjas. And I don't know whether you feel different. I feel like you're different um, in just your comfort level. And and not saying that like you were a different person than you are to or maybe you are, I don't know. You're even saying like you're you're in this recovery mode and, and you're sort of like you're you're feeling a little bit more open to talk about. I mean, we are talking about mental health at the end of the day. We're talking about mental health, talking about feeling lonely, talking about like, man, like by the time I hit this age that I you know, figured that out my life would look a certain way and your 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 clock is ticking, bro. All of our clocks are ticking. I'm having a very enjoyable conversation with you. Not to say that the other one wasn't, but I'm saying because I'm getting the raw, as much as you were like, don't be so serious this time, Ben. I'm like, I don't think I took it there. <laughs> you know what I I'm think saying? What I meant by like not get so, so serious is the commercial filter on it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you know I mean, let like let it let it just go where it goes. Like, oh yeah, I feel great. You know, like if, yeah. what the fuck is that? You don't feel great. I don't think Shut we did that the last you time. Know, but you I, don't I, feel great. <laughs> I don't know if we ever did <laughs> no, that. No, it's just like yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, I understand. I, mean, I, would, I would love yeah. to try. It. Shut the fuck up. All right, yeah, you don't I want understand. to try. I love it. I hate you. Know I mean? First of all, I would never want to have that no, kind of conversation. <laughs> I would never no, want to have that kind of No, but you get what I mean, but right? like, yeah. I understand it's commercial, which is great and positive and shit, but it's not like, yo, everyone's not stupid. You know, yes. people need, when it hits, it hits. Right. When, you, when it's, when the com- conversation content, everyone, a discussion we're having, it comes from here. It's from here. Yes. Whether it's negative, whether it's And positive, I feel like you are coming weird, you know? 100% from here right now. Yeah. And that's, that's all we ever want, man. And that's what kin just freaking is, man. It's just come, it's kin. come as you are. Come as you are, man. As good as you are or as bad as you are or as whatever as you are. But it's it's a place where like, yo, we we are all humans trying to get through this experience. And we've all come through a very difficult past few years. And bro, let's just be real about it. Like we're going to yeah. have high moments. We're going to have some dope moments. We're going to have some not dope moments. It's okay. It's a part of the and journey. horrible moments. Like, yo, appreciate it, and it's beautiful. Like, it's right? Like highs and lows. No matter how low you get, I feel like sometimes I feel that too. When the lowest point, you think you're at the lowest point, it, you just can't get lower. I feel like sometimes just appreciate it too, because whatever that happens after that, it's only gonna be up. Now I feel that too. That's the truth. And you, you know what I love about low moments. When you have like a good time with somebody, we always talk about this. You have a good time with somebody, it's a good time, it's a good memory. When you go through some shit with somebody, you get real close because mm. you you survive some shit. The hard stuff is what really brings people together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, good times is good times. Like you, you, that's something that can that can just go by, and you just can't wait till the next good time. But really, when you go through something difficult with somebody, you bond in a totally different way. And you know, I think we've been fortunate enough to like see enough life through with each other riding along you know beside each other in so many different instances for years now that it hasn't just been all rainbows and butterflies there's been complicated times you know what i mean and we've been able to share through those moments we nev- we've been able to feel sadness or loneliness and then still find comfort in each other at, at, at another time of the year or whatever you know and i think those are the things that bring us really close together you know it, it's our hardest conversations that we have together are, are like some of the like more difficult or sadder moments. Those are the times where I leave those conversations. And I'm like, yo, man, Jackson's my brother. I really like, I have love for that guy for it's real. You know what I mean? Because like you said, like, you know, this like kind of semi-serious facade of like, you always want to be professional with people. You always want to like do right by people. You know, it's in our nature to be to be good to people and to try and be on our best behavior, to try and make sure that other people feel good and stuff like that. But like, that's just not how it always is. Definitely. Sometimes it's like, hey man, like, 
things haven't been awesome or like mm. you know what happened with this thing or like what's going on with that and it's the real conversation no matter how complex they can get those are the ones that i always because i know that we're always going to be do we're, we're always going to do right by each other you know, no matter how difficult it is we're going to find the right way we're going to communicate to each other and help each other understand you know what i mean mm. even if it's like an honest selfish moment but it's like i need to communicate so that i can be real with myself because i know that you're going to back me up for being myself mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And but those moments, every single time we leave those conversations, that's when I'm like, oh, I feel like we've truly bonded. We've gotten me closer. I didn't even know we can get closer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's good. We could always do another show, another music video, another performance, another TV show, whatever. And it could be great. But I, I tell you what, we do a TV show, like a TV competition, we lose together. Like, we fucking lost. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you lose together, you get fucking close. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just how it is. You know what I mean? When we lost NBC World of Dance, mm -hmm. one of the most powerful moments on that entire season was not the moments that we, like, did super, super dope. Mm -hmm. It was when we, we lost and we fucking cried together in the dressing room. We oh, didn't yeah. share that with anybody. Who did you guys lose to? Impossible, man. What the Jennifer fuck Lopez. No, I'm okay. just Okay, okay. <laughs> No, I'm just we lost to the show. To lose. We lost to the show, but it's okay. No, what, it's what, it's what, reality to you. Yes? My bad. What, what this, one, this one, this uh, one was NBC World of Dance. We lost ABDC too, but I mean, what's losing, right? Like, I just feel like yo, even with athletes, bro. Come on, like I was an athlete, and when we were competing, when you're like the top, I at least to my understanding, as an athlete, when you're like the top sixteen, top thirty two in the world. Everyone's about the same. It's just like different characters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's but just what happens to be your day versus happens to be your day. Right. Yeah. You when know? you're competing yeah. in that moment, right. your condition, yep. you know, even like the referee's mindset, you know, like just everything, you know, like the judge. There's so many different elements, totally. but everyone's around the same. But you, know you know what's different way, though? Yeah. Like, especially with the dance world, that we're like half athlete, half artist. And any anybody who's a, like an artist, you know how it is. Artists are sensitive. You know, that's what makes us good at what we do. Because we, we have to create from an honest emotion, whether it be insecurity or fear or doubt or pain or Dude, anger or I whatever. Dude, I lost in Street Dance of China, man. We killed it, though. No, no, that's not Street Dance. That's Hot Bloods Dance Crew. We also killed in Street Dance of China. No, Hot Bloods Dance Crew, Street Dance of China, I lost. But it, I don't give a fuck. You know, like, hey, I enjoyed it because I love dance. And I love all the kind of like Chun Ling, like all yeah, these yeah. dope people. Like, I love it and I enjoyed it. Who gives a fuck? Like, maybe, hey. All I'm saying is look back on every single one of the performances we did together that we choreographed for Street Dance of China. We smashed that shit. No. I'll still look at those numbers look, today and be like, yo, come on. Congrats on the winner, but it wasn't just about winning to me. Even with the battles, you know, like battle dance or whatever, freestyle band, I felt like dance is not always about freestyle battle. That's another character. There's different categories. Yeah, right? totally. Like, it's not just about, it's always about love, how you feel the music, how you deliver the music. But it's just like, I felt like that program was harsh, man. And, 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 I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it in a different way because I enjoyed the process of creating every single mission there. Like creating the dance performance. I learned I upgraded myself a lot through that show, you know, in, in skill wise. So I I'm trying to say it's not always about winning. Yeah. You know? not hey, you winning. you ain't gotta tell us. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not telling you when I'm looking at you, but at the same time I'm telling like this is true. This is, whoever I'm, is. I'm all I'm saying right, is that right. I'll take this moment to be like I'm very proud of Kendra's considering we never won those TV shows, but I feel like we came out on top in so many different ways because of the the way we decided to carry ourselves, the dignity we walked away with. And the, the things that we chose in strategy to continue on even using Absolutely. those shows. Because we, yeah, same thing in China, I'm sure. But like I'll only speak on behalf of American stuff. A, re, a TV show is a reality TV show. It's not really reality, right? It's still a TV show. Like, yeah, to the productions. So, yeah. I mean, so, the, so at the end of the yeah. day, there are things that are so out of our control. Definitely. That we only need to focus on what we can't control. That's Definitely, it. Definitely. You yeah. know what I mean? That. And I'm not trying to draw this life uh, analogy out of what you guys are talking about, but Frick, such is life, man. Like we don't always win the things that we want to win, right? Like we want we we enter this uh, competition, this TV show. Of course, everybody goes in with the intention we want to win 
the first place prize, right? Because that's like the goal. But let, let's say you don't get the first place prize. Does that mean everybody that didn't get the first place prize failed? No. And only one one team or one person won? No. Everybody extracted something else from that. And it's the learning lessons. It was, as you're talking about, the love of expressing yourself, the love of like pushing yourself to beyond your limits like or whatever you thought your limits were and be like damn i could actually go past that right like because i was forced to but i'm like man now i can take this and apply that to other areas of my life but like that's exactly what life is like we let's just say we don't get the job that we were hoping to get we don't you know we don't get the girl that was hoping you know to to say yes to me or we don't you know our health isn't exactly where it where we would want it to be but it's like those things shape your life in a way where it builds character and if you can still see that there is a growth aspect especially in the losses Mm. that's legit where we grow we don't grow in the wins the wins are that they, they they put us on a high and yeah we celebrate the wins because all the wins tell us is all that struggle that we put in prior to this you know trophy moment pays off but like even those the struggles was what got that what, what got that trophy moment but then if we don't get the trophy that doesn't mean all those struggles mean nothing just because you didn't get the trophy yeah. or that trophy. What if there's another trophy for but you? But I wanted the trophy so much. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. But then that that keeps you hungry. It keeps you humble. It keeps you like stay working hard because it's like, okay, damn, I really wanted that trophy. So that's why I'm going to keep working hard because I do, I do want a trophy in my life and whatever that is. And I just, I, I think like as we're all talking, I'm just seeing all these just like, life analogies man like you know we we are gonna struggle but like those struggle moments are where we grow in those pain moments is where we find our definitely lessons you definitely know what I'm saying? if it's too easy to get be to succeed in whatever that trophy then everyone would be getting trophies you know yeah. exactly yeah. exactly it hurts and it's painful bro but it's enjoy it, once you enjoy that painfulness it's okay yeah yeah those are the things that bring us closer Getting back to your question to me, <laughs> it's been like forever. It's He's been a great 30, host, man. You know, it's, Jackson, it's, you're a great host. No, you you know how to bring it back, bro. It's been 30 years since your question to me. What was your question? Just say it right now, man. Before okay. that, we got kinjadojo.io. <laughs> Lessons you want to learn, learn from the kinjas. It is what it is. Get it at home. Done. I can't wait for you to come on that platform and teach a class as well. I was about to well. say, you when are you I mean? teaching one, bro? You know, you got to get on there and teach one. Teach one? Yeah, yes. you're going to teach a class on Kids Dojo Dio. Teach what? Do we have so many routines? Hey, okay, I got to sharpen my weapon first. All right? <laughs> I respect I that. I can teach you right now. You want to teach me? You Another? taught a thing with Ving. You guys oh, taught no, no, a no, workshop? No, it was Vin, you know? Like, I was just assisting. And remember, we got to teach if some workshops. Guys, hey, if you guys are teaching a lesson, I'll assist. I'll assist. That's how it starts. Yeah. There it is. That's how it yeah. starts. Hey, you know what? We're, what was your question? We're man? gonna. What was your question? I was gonna say, um, um what do you want to eat after like, this? Why do you? Why do you have a face? This face is exactly what I looked at. Pretty? No, this face is exactly what I looked at in at, at my birthday party. You're you 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 you're, you're getting there, huh? First of all, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Cameras are on right now. Don't do that. This looks like the time to transition out. No, but are I'm we saying done? like w because the camera's on, we have to. We're I don't not know. Us. Jackson want, has no, a question. Wait, what's your question? It's been thirty years. Go. Is, is your question? What was your question? I was all at the time. I was just asking you how you're looking for love. Ah, uh, that was oh, the question. What? That was the question. Was Look, the they're question? both nodding right now. Yeah, that was literally my question from yeah, earlier. He did, he did ask I that. just figured yeah. we already talked about it. So you want me to bring it back up? Let's bring no, So I you want to talk about it. I want to talk about it, man. You look like you're looking at your birthday. No. When I was, was there during some, my birthday, was I there was somebody like, at your during, birthday? During, no, during my birthday, when I looked at you, I was like this. This fool. And then 
Anthony, <laughs> loud music. I was talking to you about how I felt. everything was coasting at his birthday. By the way, I was I was like on a like a very responsible level, and then in the last fifteen minutes, this guy just decided to continually bring Hennessy shots, and it wasn't like, hey, let's everybody take cheers. Wow. You know what I'm talking about, Chad? You was you was there, uh-uh. and, he, and he they would the server would come out. There's there weren't even shots. They were like cups that were half full. They were like double shots of Hennessy. VSOP, Hennessy. by the way, thank yeah. you for the sponsorship. That's what people. That's what. That's when controversy happened. You told me to talk about, it. anyways. Yeah. And then Why he would bring this out, and it's coming out from. His it's ass. coming out of the butt. Dude, you're the tiger, baby. All right. So l- let me tell you this. It wasn't like a cheers. It wasn't like everybody cheers or anything like that. It was a. He, it's Jackson going. He's like, hey, 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 we're gonna do this. Okay, ready, ready. One, two, three. And he would down it, and he would stare at the next person, and he would make people go one by one, so you could ripple, hide ripple, behind it. Ripple. The ripple. Yeah. Very artistic. <laughs> it was all for the art. It was all for the art. Hey, hey I swear to God. So I was, got in trouble after it that. Was two rounds. You're gonna you're gonna I, spill right now. It was three. No, I was. I, I came with. Uh, I came with. I, I told the bartender, "Yo, it was very great part bartender." I was like, "Hey, uh, do you guys have shots?" And oh, no, we don't have. Oh, can we get like uh, eight cups, eight eight, eight glasses? And I was like, "Okay, I'll just fill in a little bit." But then he ended up filling a lot. I'm like, okay, you know, I took that and then gave it to everybody. One round. After that, still dancing, everybody's dancing, having deep conversation, whatever the fuck. And then I, I asked for another round. Two rounds. That's what it got. That's we two have rounds to admit that, to our age. No, that's two rounds at that table. What about the other round that you brought right before and you poured it into my uh you poured it into my old fashioned. Oh, hey, hey. My that's old why, fashioned dude. That's why you only had one sip. And then you said, the fuck is it's not cool. And then I had a zip. Remember, I had a zip. And then you were like, like, you're right. You're right. And then I gave it to the bartender. It was like, you didn't get, I took it back and I was drinking it. Really? Yeah. My bad. (laughs) (laughs) My my, 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 my bad. My bad. That's that. It's three rounds. That's that Jackson Wayne humility right there, (laughs) bro. Yo, yo. You are a humble man. It's three rounds. Come on, man. Three rounds. It's, it's nothing. Come it was on. a good birthday party. You almost made me tear up. It was a good birthday party. You almost made me tear up when we were having our hearts hard. And there's some things that we, we don't share on podcasts because that was just for us. I love that. I love that. You Man, don't even remember. You was drunk. I remember. I remember. It was, even though I don't remember it, it's in my body because I told you what it was in my brain. You get me? I didn't make it up. I didn't. Hey, no, 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 no. I didn't make it up. Okay. It was already there. I just took that out and gave it to you. Okay. Thank you. Shared it with you. Right, it's good. Either way, I mean, do we do we lightning and okay? I, I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you, Ban Hyung. Can I see this? Oh no! No no! <laughs> wow. This is you, you. You're looking at all my secrets here. Okay, fine. No, give it to him. Dude. Okay. Is it look, in Korean? Remember, no, we gotta dude. open up to each other. Is it in Korean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> These are just my like. If if we need stuff to talk about, but I haven't looked at that once. This was judging you. No, no, no. It's very Judge great. It. I think oh, it's like maybe like maybe you want to talk about No, some because of this stuff. I was I started my career out in variety shows and I was a host too. Back like fucking eight, seven, eight years. But this is way I, I, this is way more professional than <laughs> what what I what what I did. That's called a notebook. No, but like this this I was just riffing, you know. We've been riffing this whole time. I like I said, we haven't gone off of any of this. This is what I am. I want to share to my fans or even talking to the subscriber here in can just podcast. I want to say I we're I'm entertainer. What does entertainment uh, entertainer mean to me is we entertain everyone. To everyone's having their own life. They have a job or they they family whatever they're busy working with and when they're stressed out, they look at videos for content that's entertaining. Whether it's in any aspect, whether it's, it could be any music, performance, podcast, we're just talking. They need to release whatever they, they, um, they have in their, in their, in their life through podcast relief, you know? And I feel like that's the relationship between me and my community, me and my supporters and every, I, I always feel like it's not about me, you know, it's about at the end of the day, I could, I could be here for two years. I'm gone. You know, I could be here for a month. I'm gone. I could be here for ten years. I'm gone. I'm just one of those element in their life that 
get them happy, give a smile to their face. That's it. That's all I want. Whether it's through music, whether it's through podcast, it doesn't matter. You feel me? It's not as great as I think we think as artists. You get what I mean? It's like I'm I want that for them. It's not about me. You you, you get what I'm trying totally. From an idealist point of view, absolutely. Right. But do people want to hear about your career? I also think absolutely. But I totally hear you. Right. And we're going to respect that because this is the Kinjas podcast and you're Kinjas. So, you know, it's all squad. What's also cool is that you probably talk about all your career stuff on other stuff. Yeah. And, and when you're here, Fuck you're that like, shit I don't here. about that. You're going to talk about all that stuff. Yeah. No, like I've, regular what I don't even you know remember what, I, mean? what I talk about. What, whatever I talk about here is from the heart. I love that. It's not about me. Is about so. A, what kind a, of what kind of girl are you looking for? Explain. What kind of girl? Yeah. Oh fuck! All right. Um, I'm looking for someone that, um, honestly, I don't have a boundary. Like whatever that clicks and whatever I have a vibe with, whatever. You must have a type though. Is a there's a moment. There's a moment. What's your type? <laughs> what what type of girl do you normally find yourself attracted to? Man. What type of I really I don't know, man. Like I think I like everything. <laughs> what what is this? This is sign language for bullshit. No, 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 no. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I don't have a type. This is the thing. I, if I have a type, I'll tell you guys. I don't have one. So ethnicity has nothing to do with no, it. No, man. Any, any any ethnicity. Okay. What what ethnicity was your last? Like, who? What you would consider your an actual relationship? Asian. Okay. But then I'm. It's because I was in a place. To, sure. I okay. fucking. Yeah. I was in Asia, man. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of Asians in Asia. I get it. Yeah. yeah. You get I me? Mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Billions but like, even. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Billions of Asians <laughs> in Asia. Yeah. Okay. I I, I really want to. Um, no, honestly, I don't have boundary. I don't have boundary. Like so whatever. Okay, va- let's talk about values, bro. It's no, bro. It's so hard. Like, what does she need to like? Does she need to inspire you? She doesn't need to do anything. I'm telling she you, she doesn't need that. to do no, anything. No. There's no, a I, lot of those. No, the floor no, is a lot very of those. low on that one. That, that we don't want to put that out there. No, There's let, no boundaries. Yeah. She don't need to do anything. Let me finish. A lot of girls can apply right now. Let me finish. Dojo. That's not the brand that we want to put out for you, bro. man. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Hey, hey. We're talking about this relationship. Oh, I want to register. And then fucking they end up with, oh, I have to learn classes. <laughs> a lot of, a lot oh, of if I learn this us. choreo. Oh, yeah, all, like, the, all these ladies start signing up. Like, Where's the Jackson application? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, yo. I don't have to do oh. anything. All right, let me let me say it. Like, I'm very open to every, any kind, whatever location. I don't, I don't really care. Location but, anywhere. But this is the thing. I always travel. So it's like... It's got to be okay with you traveling, like you doing what you do. This is the thing. When I meet, oh, I meet a decent uh, lady. I meet, oh, so I, I, I have I have interest and we talk and then we, we, we kind of bond. The next day I'm like, bye. And then we leave. When we're like long distance, still trying to understand, like get to know each other. That's because of the distance. And the scope of work that we both have, it just went like this. That's a natural thing. Do you want? Do you want a a girl who is similar to your lifestyle or more? Oh, I hope. Oh, I I understand what you're trying to say. Uh, I would want a partner for life that has their own dream. And it could be any field. So they got an ambition for something. No, no of course, because yeah. I feel like everybody wants something in their for life. For sure, you know? absolutely. Any, everybody, like, and she focused on doing that. I focus on doing that. And when we're together, you know, like we spend time together, and we inspire each other. Maybe we we'll argue, whatever it is, you know, whatever she's going through, I can accept that and 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 tell her, hey, you know what, this is what I feel. You know, very transparent and very open, and in both ways, I want that bond because it's for life you know i'm looking for that mm. let's get to the serious questions though you just fucking asked me i already this is my real talk i i told you so many times about this we were ta- we we're at the rehearsal i told you this in what front are, of- but what are things that if she was are you gonna ask my fetish and some shit sh- well oh dude that's a good question what are your this is good. okay i'll tell you privately 
Because it's, I just feel like it's too much for people that's listening to this. I wasn't just, even gonna bring like, up that. It's, like, it's just such in, a in juicy radio, word. In radio and whatever, I, I just don't want to talk about it. Okay, that's but it's fine. nothing okay, crazy. It's just yeah, like it's just everyone has their own. He's the one who brought it up, not me. Kinja. It's a Kinja. I O. He fucking brought it up. Okay. That'll be on our Patreon. If we ever start one. <laughs> oh, man. I love this, oh, man. Totally fun. Fun. We're going to go another hour, bro. I love it. Um, if you're not okay. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out, bro. This is my Friday well, night. Because to me, it's like, what's the difference between we we talking here and we talking upstairs? We're exactly. Having a drink. It's the same fucking the shit. The same thing. There's right? a, probably a little bit of food upstairs, but yeah. It's but not also, like, like, other people listening after this thing goes out. This is true. You know? This is true. All right. How about this? What are things... That she cannot do or cannot have. Mm. She cannot have? Yeah, they're like pet peeves of yours or like... Like you can't stand this. You can't, like I, yeah, I'm, you're not I'm down not for not this. about this. You know, like for Ben, when I'm like, I say things like, if you ain't Christian, he ain't fishing. You know what I'm saying? Are there things for you that you're like, well, these are kind of like, <laughs> this don't work out. They don't know what they want in their life. That's complex, man. No, it's sure. just like no, very that. general. In general, yeah, it's yeah. like okay, I'm like, yeah, hey, uh, what do you want to do, babe? Like, you get me? If 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 we imagine that that situation, what do you want to do, babe? Like, I like when you look at me, and call me babe. I like that. No. no, I was looking through you. You know, you were looking at me. I wasn't. I was. I, I was looking. You were looking through me, but I caught it. You know, green wall that behind you. And I was saying, like, <laughs> if I ask, like, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do in life? Like, imagine you're this age. But as a child, as childhood, through childhood, now, future, what do you want? If that, she's like, oh, you know what? I don't know. Well, of course, I'll help her to analyze and and talk about it. But at the end, you kind of have a feeling like, oh, she she just don't give a fuck. No mm-hmm. aim, no goals. No, no. Then See, that kind of like. That's like unattractive a little bit. Not not even that. It's just like, oh. Uh... Well, you're looking for somebody, like, at the end of the you day, know, it kind of boils down to stability. Like, I, I need to know what I'm signing up for. Not that, like... Not this relationship, but in your life. Right, right, right. right. So you're not necessarily looking for a go-getter, ambitious, like, I need to be like, yo, I'm a boss lady. You're not looking for that. But like, let's just say, let's just go the no, other No, I'm extreme. cool with that, too. But at least if you're a boss lady, you know what the fuck you right. want. And you know what you're right. signing up for. Mm-hmm. So you know what you're going to get as as opposed to, let's say, the other side where, let's just say, uh, the girl's like, I want to have children. I want to oh, start a family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, and I'm just, I just want to be oh, no. like. I wasn't talking about that. Oh. I'm saying like, okay. what do you want not in this relationship? I'm saying, what do you want in your career? Yeah. In no, no. Life. That's what, also what oh, I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, 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 what if there's a boss lady who's like, I want to, I want, I'm a, like, I have this company that I want to grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, right. So she's doing that, that entrepreneur thing. That's and amazing. Say the other end of the spectrum is like, I just want to start a family and be a stay at home mom. Oh, like that's, 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 that's dope th- too. Those are two different, but both people know what they want. Exactly. And so basically what you're saying, you're not saying you need the boss lady. You're just saying as long as you know what you want, right. even if you're the stay at home mom, or That's amazing. Both amazing. Okay, because both people know what they want. Very specific. There you go. Okay. What if What if it's like it's like that? They like everything that you want. They want to have children. They have goals. They have ambitions. They're beautiful. You're super attracted to them, but they fucking hate your music. That was a great moment right there too. Mm. Let that smoke go. Okay, are we playing what if games? Okay, I give you fucking what if games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you what if games. <laughs> are we playing what yeah, if? We're playing what okay, if okay, games. okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Then I uh, okay. No, then can can just dojo io have absolutely zero has nothing to do with our conversation. <laughs> yes. You just fucking it saying it, man. <laughs> Kinjas Kojo the aisle. Kinjas Dojo the aisle. Thank you. We're gonna clip all those put it together. Kinjas what Dojo if games? the aisle. What if games? Just everything you want. You know what? You know what? Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Because History you're always music. fucking saying it, I'll go on the site. I'll fucking go on the site right now. I hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's it's just a online class, right? 
You're oh, supposed you're to, to you did the advertisement for this. You're supposed to know what it is. Now you're letting the fans know you don't even know what it is. Yeah, I'm being real as fuck because I don't know until you kept fucking saying it a million times. <laughs> this Kinja's is important. This is like Kinja Bang noodles. He like I had to make him try it for the first time. I'm like, dude, yeah, you haven't even tried way. it. Oh, I know it's different from the Kinja Bang noodles because I was a fan of the Kinja Dojo when with the when the uh video was up the picture was up i was like fuck i want that I, i've been telling you once that and like, then you, you send me something and then the you're like yeah of course there. and then fucking never happened but you know how much it costs to ship to freaking asia okay i'm oh shit it's really dope which one? Oh, bam's here oh everybody's fucking <laughs> the fam's here everyone's here yeah oh I, oh i get it oh that's what you guys were filming at um at elements. elements yeah element yeah that's yeah. amazing yeah this is we're actually working on this. So like when you actually say things like you say Kinja's that that's okay. You know what I know. I just didn't know it's Kinja's Dojo. You know how much it actually means to me that you. I just actually didn't know it's Kinja's Dojo. Io because I know this shit from the weird, from the right? jump. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Okay. You know we're, I'm gonna ask Chad to clip just that one ad that you said, and we're just gonna post that everywhere. It's gonna be the biggest thing that Jackson Wayne supports Kinja's Dojo. Io. So can not you tell support. Me? I'm a part of Kinja's Dojo. Io. Yeah. Okay. So what if she hates your music? I love okay, I'm cool with it, but a it's nothing to do with our relationship. It's nothing to do with our relationship. Your art, your purpose, everything that you share, she doesn't like it and you're cool with it? I don't think we would click in the first place. Touche. Well, no, I I I would say this. I feel like if a girl didn't care that you were an artist, like she's like, I don't really care you that you're Oh, that it doesn't it doesn't hey, whatever you say. Act, I, I would imagine you probably would be more into that. No, no, no. It doesn't really matter whether she, whether she's into you as an artist or not. She like that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What if she's beautiful? Oh, what? what if? Hey, you fucking guys try to what if me all the time. You, let you me what if? It's all about what if. What if? if. So, <laughs> hey, what if? Super beautiful, but eighty percent plastic surgery. Hey, Whoa. doesn't fucking matter, man. Hey, what if it's do I click with her in the first place? Because we clicked, we're gonna have extended conversation about everything else. Okay, now we're talking right. business now. How do you click? What is the like? What are the qualities of how Jackson clicks with? That's Earth. We're that living. Person. That's the Earth. That's the that's Earth, and that's life we live. You know, you can't even explain when you meet somebody. That's the, the energy there. Like you, the vibe there. It's just right. And then this first step, and then you take it to the second step. Hey, you know what? You spend some more time together, and the third step. The more time we spend together, we get to know each other more, and then we're we're confident. Do you feel like you it. you uh, want to be challenged by by a girl? Like, do you want to feel like, "Ooh, I feel like I need to be on my game with this one"? Or oh, I love I love when my other half inspires me and mm, and and tells yeah, and ensures yeah. the conversation we have and makes me feel like yo you get it you gotta fucking focus and be on your shit and i feel like oh fuck i love that what if she's everything she you love you're that fucking you what if man you're mr <laughs> don't call him can just do just the io don't call him mr anthony anymore don't call him anthony lee anymore call him what if mr what if he is the mr. mr he is the w. Mr. What if. W -I, Mr. We, they call him Mr. We right now. What if, what if? What if? What if? What if? What if? Come on, man. Oh man, you say you have fun. I know Anthony We, Anthony okay. Y, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. But go on, you had a good what if. I it would no, it was gonna be good, but you know, it's it's, it's nah, okay. Bro. He doesn't want it anymore. It's not a big deal. No, I lo I love it, but it's just like okay, okay perfect. Get everywhere. some get some perfect what if way. to Ben. Get right? some what if to Ben and then, uh, to us. Get some what if to Anthony. Okay, it's a three way pod. She's got everything. She checks the list. She's everything you want. She fucking will travel with you. She's ambitious. She just she wants kids. Out. And I don't want her to travel with me all the time because that but means she's she... a lady boy. What is oh, that? I mean, I... What's hey, you know what? Wait, what I define lady boy? You know the lady. I just, boy. I just was. I'm right, just right, kidding. Right. This is a dumb question. Right. <laughs> Anthony, what if? Are we dude? gonna get there? Are we gonna get there? You fucking what if? That the level that you're bringing, you want to get there? What if? Hey, what if? <laughs> come at me. Come at me. Okay. Come no, at okay, me. No, I, no, I don't. That's what I thought. I don't want. <laughs> is it too much? It's never too much. Is it too much? Yes, your PR is going to be no, mad at me. No, 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 no. Is it been? too much what I'm about to ask you? Oh, here we go. Because <laughs> every day felt like Monday to me. Isn't that tight? Like, look at this. That's this disgusting. Jackson's, Jackson's first Friday night. I mean, that's this not tight. my first Friday night, This is man. tight, but that's I feel not like tight. I'm going to sleep so well. I'm going to sleep like a baby. 
I'm gonna wake up early for JK News. Like <laughs> I wish I could be on JK News. Is next time like long? Like maybe next opportunity if we can have naked uh, JK News at night, like ten. Like you know, get out of here, dude. <laughs> no, it's too much. Okay. So Ben, what if your face is exactly during the party? Beautiful. <laughs> Pretty. It's very makeup. Yeah, it feels like you're ready for Serious. action. You're very ready, ready for action. Okay, let's continue your what if game. Okay? Oh, yeah. what if? What that... if game? Okay. You want to do what if game? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking destroy you on the what if oh. game. No, don't destroy <laughs> me. You asked enough. You so asked what? Enough. The, what's the what? What, what if, if you don't go to Vegas, man? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck if you Jolene don't go to Vegas be a little hey, upset. you know what you know what he always sit there and you deserve to be you, come here oh. for real just for one second right here right here right here right here right here please 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 that's a good question. Mainly because Nick Six was like, I'm going to be in Vegas. Just come to Vegas. Nick! <laughs> <laughs> my be- my bro. My man. Nick? Yo, I think Kenya's podcast, people need to know who Nick is. Nick Six. Yeah, Nick Six. People need to know who he is. He's the, uh, he's the loud pit bull of the, of the group. Yes. Right. People need to know. People don't seem to know. So, people, people are looking at Kenya's podcast. You're looking at the Kenya's from outside. How... My community look at me from the outside, but they don't know the internal. So Nick know? Six is the uh, creator and head of Jam Republic Agency that represents a lot of the dancers in the circuit. A lot of the dancers are also uh, choreographing and repping for a lot of the K-pop circuit as well. Uh, he's currently in Vegas right now because he manages Kyle Tootin, one mm-hmm. of his you know main people as well under Jam Republic Agency, and he's the main choreographer for Blackpink. So mm-hmm. they're working oh, on the show out there. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, Nick Six has been managing myself, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A lot of the Kendra's Ving, Mike, mm-hmm. in, in different ways for international teaching and other gigs and stuff for many, many years now. Uh, we'd like to call him a pit bull because he kind of gets angry sometimes that you fuck around, so you can't be <laughs> fucking around, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll just fuck around with him. He won't get angry at, no. at us. But, no, but you know, he, yeah. hey, he's an amazing human being. On like, behalf mm-hmm. of us, he'll get angry. Oh, yes, 100%. You, know what I mean? so you can't cross him. You can't You can't go back on contracts. You can't go back on your word. You can't fuck with his clients. You can't no, fuck with the that, people oh, he Oh, that's being professional. Yeah, that's yeah. Not he's being, being professional. Being, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's a nice little pit bull. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, but he's he's an amazing human being, and I really mm-hmm. I, I love him. Yeah. As a human. Yeah, he's a good man. He's See, good so people. you'd go to Vegas for him, too. I'm not going to Vegas. <laughs> No, no, oh, if I, if I have if, to, if he asks you, he's like, he's what like, if you go to Vegas? It's his first no, time if, in for Vegas. him, if he, if he really needs me, I'll go. Ben, where are you going, bro? Come I on. Don't know. I thought we were playing. No, no, right, 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 You're going because of Nick. Yeah, he oh. said it's his first time in Vegas. Um, he wants me to go, and I was like, yeah, I'll go just for you, bro. That's bringing the wifey out there, having a little, you know, one one time with the wife because I've been gone for a while. That's amazing. There you go. You know. For how many days? I love it. Honestly, it's just like a one day going tomorrow and come back home Sunday. Maybe look at some houses. There you go. Oh, oh, you're yeah, balling, man. Not balling. Chad That's baller. why we're looking in Vegas. <laughs> Chad baller. <laughs> Bro. There it is. Does everybody know you're you're married? Yes. Yes. What's the wifey <laughs> name? The wifey's name? Yeah. Jolene Mayate. Oh. Oh, oh, she she took she took your name. Of course, I didn't know. Oh that. shit, mm-hmm. she's upstairs right now. Oh, yeah, okay. upstairs, of that. course. <laughs> and what was the love story? Long story short. Ooh, long story short. Why did you guys get uh, decided to get married? It's about to be an eight hour podcast. <laughs> 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 no, two thirty, two thirty, two thirty. So, what was the long story short? Why did you get? Why did you want to? Like, what was that trigger? The marriage. The the marriage trigger was. We were friends beforehand, and she already knew that I traveled a lot, and she was someone that I always talked to and vented to during my travels. So she already knew what my travel life was like and how I was as a person, regardless of all the lights and glamour. And then one day we just clicked, and even nowadays, no matter what I do, she'll always stand by my side and understanding whatever I do. Oh shit! Was she a dancer too? She was. Oh, fuck. and that's how I first Amazing. met her. Amazing! I never see you guys Still creating is. a piece together. Ooh, oh, they uh, got some stuff. we have. 
Oh, you really? See their wedding performance. That mm-hmm. is true. Which but is not up yet. But it will oh, be. Oh, it's not. A, it's, a, yes. it's a fuck. Damn, bro. I'm happy <laughs> for you, bro. Thanks, man. I'm happy. No, this for is what us. I want to talk about, man. Like, like, it's just for me. For me. <laughs> Are there arguments? Like, of course there are, man. Like, even couples or marriage, there are so many arguments. But, like, are there some point that in marriage, I'm sure that it happens in couples too, mm. but were there a certain point you just like, fuck, it's not it? <laughs> oh, meaning like, like you, uh-huh. were, you were thinking you were going to jump get, ship? You see, like, you see his face. Look at his face. Like, the moment that you thought, like, maybe, like... No, maybe, like, hey, me. this is not what I got myself into. Were there... Uh, I just want to know. I, I don't know anything. Like I, I want to ask. Were there moments where you feel like it's really hard for both of us? But I, at the end of the day, we all know we're we're gonna overcome it. We're gonna, you know, stay strong, try to solve it. But were there any moments that you're like telling all these people that's watching? You know, they're not married or whatever. Like at least share with them. Hey, you know what this is gonna what you guys are gonna go through. But hey, at that time, we we share the information with you guys that hey, stand strong or give advice on marriage because i'm sure a lot of people that's watching they're not married mm-hmm. what is it i thought you, don't said you expect, didn't want to do serious don't don't, <laughs> don't expect this shit to be cut out all right <laughs> say it we got randomly transition this into the middle of our podcast now <laughs> and have the story still make sense for the jackson wayne podcast okay 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 you want something not serious okay you what, what are you talking about you want what, 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 what is it you're looking for this says I look. Uh, he said I look like his birthday. Th- look at this guy <laughs> <laughs> walking around, fucking ADD, like can't stick on one topic. Just hugging Ben like it's his boyfriend and shit, asking me <laughs> so about uh, difficult like points in my marriage. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I, the I was fuck? curious, and even if it's off mm. camera, even if if we go upstairs drinking, I would ask that because I'm. I don't know because I'm not married. See, if we I go upstairs while we're drinking. You ask our wives. That's where it gets more fun because then yes. I'm gonna start eating popcorn. Like, yeah, what's yes. the answer? Oh, mm-hmm. you know what? That's you're a very bad person. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Why would you? Why? Well, I wasn't expecting that. No, you know so- what? Again, just like I said early in the conversation, right? Good times, good memories, good stories. Yeah. That's great. Right. Fucking great. Yeah. But it's the hard moments that as you if you come away from it and you're okay from it, that shit makes you way closer. Definitely. You know what I mean? It's like, for example, before we, many years ago, in the very, very beginning of our relationship, me and Nina, there was one moment where we did break up. We mm. broke up for one month. Mm. Right? I was like, you know, this, maybe this isn't going to work, blah, blah, blah. You go through shit. Right? She had her little bout. She like, you know, she like changed her hair, you know, she like something met new, up with something other fresh, friends. But yeah, new. she, yeah, you know, yeah. she just need to change shit up. Even for me, I went out traveling and I'm, I'm like, oh shit, you know, like that's the end of that relationship. But then I, I catch myself just still thinking about her, still looking up her Instagram. I'm like, oh shit, she no, changed her normal. hair, that's you know normal. what I mean? I'm like, what's she going on? I'm still curious. Hair. I can't Did stop. you change your hair after she changed? Guys don't do the change. No, we don't. No, no. What did you change? That. Probably like lost some weight, did a bunch of push-ups or some stupid oh, shit. Just try to get fresh. That is a new yeah. thing. Yeah. But, but it was a short amount of time. Yeah. But the yeah. point is, I caught myself. I couldn't stop thinking about her. Yeah. I couldn't stop. What I thought wasn't gonna work That's out. Nice. Next thing you know, I can't stop thinking about her. That's a good sign. And then and then when you finally like fuck it, you 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 hit her up. You, te- you send a text message. Oh fuck! I sent the text message. Yeah, you did. I went back. Were you drunk? I was in Italy. I was by myself. I was so lonely. Mm. I, I, it was one of those red eye flights. I didn't sleep. I was not in my regular was it, mind. Was it, was it a sober text though? It, it was, was sober. Oh, oh. See, that's how you know sober. It's real, bro. Yeah, that's sober. how you know it's real. Yeah, it wasn't a drunken text. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was. It, after that, once you get back together, suddenly you know a totally different level of the situation. You're like, even if I wanted to break up with you, I already know I'm going to be thinking about you all goddamn day. I can't fucking do this hey, again. That's, that's that's beautiful. That, that, you know what I'm saying? That's fucking beautiful. So it's actually Very the beautiful. most difficult or the painful or the, the most hopeless moments that if you somehow survive through them, they bond you 10x mm. from just a good date or a good... But at the same time, you, you know bond I mean? them 10x too. <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, the bonding, uh, I assume, bonding, that, that yeah, not two bondage, sides. Bonding. Yeah. But yes, that's another topic. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what I mean? So it, it's those moments, the difficult ones mm-hmm. are the most profound, the most influential and impactful. And I feel like that's what everybody needs in their relationship. If you can't survive hardship, 
What you think? You think your whole fucking life is always going to be just good, easy stuff? No, man. No way. It's guaranteed things are going to get difficult. Can you survive difficult with that person? Definitely. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Hundred percent. You too. Me. Me what? Like 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 like, like, same shit that he goes over. He he's he went over, but in another aspect. Mm Hmm. Uh, I struggles. T- oh, struggles. I mean, I would say my just advice in general, just because I haven't been married for like super long compared to other people, right? I would say just never stop courting or never stop dating your significant other, right? Regardless how long you've been with each other, it's easy to get comfortable with someone, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And when you get comfortable with someone, then you might be like, "Oh, you want to go out for food? No, I'm good. Let's just stay home, yes. hang out, right?" Comfort is was- yeah. And then people always say, oh, the honeymoon stage ends. And it's like, that's where you stop feeling stuff for the person. You start fe- stop feeling the butterflies. Fuck that. You should always, always try to, have that. Yeah. Always try to have that. Always. If it's not there, you try to spark it up and try to make them feel like mm. you're trying to date them again. No matter how busy you get. Just exactly. moments in, the, in between the pockets. Just mm-hmm. always just amazing. try to keep something there. Just like fun and spark it up. Because then it's like. It's like you're. I would always just love to take her on a first date all over Damn, again. Damn, man! I wish I, you know? I need to do that with my team too. I just freshen yeah. them up, like with your team. Because I don't team? have, I don't have like that relationship. So that's why we're thing- looking for it right now. You mm-hmm. gotta separate yourself from your team that's so you give yourself space. Time right no, now. I feel like mm-hmm. I force my team to overwork, outwork everybody. Three sixty five. They all, they're all with me. They have families and whatever, but they just believe in the vision, so they're always with me you get me mm. so sometimes i feel like you know maybe every month or maybe every two weeks just hey you know what T- today fuck everything Louis. we're gonna do this you know I-, I need that moment but it's been like four years that i just you out. should do that yeah yeah definitely mm-hmm. Thanks, you should man. do that in the middle of coachella rehearsal hey. we're working too hard every maybe single I day <laughs> on, i should do that on the day of coachella man no 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 like three days before coachella <laughs> or something right before like i perform i should we should go to hawaii maybe <laughs> right before going yeah, on stage they, they ruin my life man <laughs> <laughs> In between week one and week two, Coach Hell is going to be the same show anyway. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Oh. You know what I mean? Sparking some uh, inspiration. See, what if? What, what if? if? What if? Can just dojo the <laughs> Can just dojo the aisle. I feel like. This the, is my definitely favorite like podcast of want, the season. Yo, I feel like what people want. It's not even about what they want. They want to see like you lose some what bets. What I want. What, <laughs> yeah, I. I I can fuck you, okay? But I'm saying like, <laughs> I feel like what people really can connect with is realness. One thousand percent. Oh, there's some realness here there's today. I I'll tell you this. The oh, can I share one thing? Very short. All my life, ten years in the industry, ten plus years in industry, I was working so hard for art. And then I start to realize last year, like uh, second half of last year until now, you can't work hard in art because art is a feeling. When you want to be perfect at something, it's not, that's not, that's, that's like science. That's like math, calculation, equation, all that shit. It loses its character. So then after, uh, I think middle of last year i started to you know what fuck all that shit let me just be me deliver my flavor i might not be perfect i might not be the best singer in the world the best dancer in the world but let me do it my way oh that is so that is like the most impactful moment for me last year when i feel like you know what and then after that i started to recover I might not be the best singer. I might not be the dance best dancer. I might not be the best creative, but let me do it my way. Mm. To them, what's perfect is <clears throat> imperfect. Mm. Perf- imagine if I'm in a song, I recorded some shit, even the song that you hear, Cheetah, Her Type of Party, Long Gone, Greedy. You felt it, right? It was, it was, it was, I don't know if you feel it, it's better than way way better than everything that i released before it, it, at least it's like i love your new music mm-hmm. yeah you know what i mean ever since your last album yeah. to all this new music i love yeah. it mm-hmm. i told you that before all your music before that i thought it was terrible but i still mm-hmm. liked you because okay so, fuck you but i love you yeah i love you too because <laughs> I, I fuck myself too 
because I fucked my previous self because I was working so hard on getting it perfect on mm. melody top line very skillful shit and then to a point I'm like you know fuck all this shit let me be me if that can connect with audience it can if it cannot I have to accept it word mm. you feel me mm-hmm. yeah so mm-hmm. I just it's a, a art is a feeling music fashion everything I feel like it's a feeling it's a feeling of whether more people can get relate to it or not people can't get relate or can't relate to it so I just went with my flow I was so stressful back then with music and everything like I have to get it perfect oh rhythm um, perfect pitch or tune or whatever like too much polishing this year all the song that you're hearing in Coachella the whole session took like 40 minutes before it took like six hours this time I just 30 minutes 40 minutes what it's not perfect about it leave it and that's what that's what the music new music is I don't know if it's gonna people can relate to it but I feel like because the 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 feedback that you're having you're giving me you feel like oh it's it, it's cool we like it yeah for sure we like the funk yep we like the the vocals on it um you know very prince very michael but like in jackson flavor it's very dope and again it like, wasn't polished as like before mm. I don't focus on the polish. You're right. right. I focus on like the feeling. But a lot of people that don't know, that want to be, like I'm saying a lot of people in the scene, they want to be perfect. Yeah. Especially mm. in like, you know, they want to be perfect. Oh, this is, but at the end of the day, I just want to share. I'm not a big artist. I'm not, I'm nobody to tell anybody to do shit, but at least I can share that. It's, art is a feeling. There's no equations. It's feeling. If you feel it, fucking release it it's it's just mm-hmm. the matter of fact if more people can feel it that's it that's that's the answer you feel me I do yeah I do. if i release yeah. some bullshit like uh, it's just a cappella the whole song it's art mm-hmm. but can people relate people can relate it's the the answer is just that not a lot of people can relate mm. but if you put some you get what i mean yeah everything is art yeah mm. <clears throat> If you do what fucking dance, not on That's beat, it's still art. Yeah. But it's just people can't relate. That's mm. it. That's good. We're, there's never going to be an outro to this. Hey, I, I, I'm sorry if I, if I if I came, like, talk too much today. No. No, I love it. No, but I just feel like can this you, is... Are you going to come back for part three after Coachella? Like, I feel like I'm human today. Dude, I, I feel that. I well. feel it too, yeah, especially when you like lose a bet. I'm like, yeah, this guy's human. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this. I'm. So, we're so sorry that you know we waste your time to listen to this while you're doing other stuff, and we just want to entertain you. And this is, you know, we just talk about the real life and the real human being that we're uh, on a lot of stories that we really go through in life and. Uh, we just want to entertain you, make you have, make you entertained, and um, give us a five star rating. No, but no, no, don't, 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 that's commercial shit, yeah, we man. Don't, don't say that. Lines, no, no. But make sure you no, plug right. the social media. And no, we don't want to. It doesn't mean anything. We're just riffing as uh, as brothers mm-hmm. and as Kinja's family. Uh, at the end of the day, we're just supporting whatever you guys do when whoever sub, sub, uh, come across into our videos. Uh, we want you to believe in what you believe in life because everyone's ha- uh, standard of happiness is different. Please find your happiness and we love you so much. We support you so much. Anytime when you're doing something, when you have the gut feeling of doing something, just do it. We, you know, you're not alone. Everybody f- goes through shit. We're here and you're the same. We're the same. Just because we're on camera, just because we're on TV, whatever uh, social media it is. We're no, we're not different from anybody. We're all just human beings. At the end of the day, we go through shit, which is okay as long as we find a solution to it. We're very positive about it. It's all good, and um, yeah, that's the end of our uh, podcast. It might be a little off in different directions, uh, talking about nothing, but at least you know we're having fun, and this is the bond that we're sharing as kinjas, and um.
you know, sometimes it's when you're going through shit, when you hear other people going, uh, sharing the same bond, just talking about nothing, maybe you get inspired to that and you like, you know what, I'm going through shit too, but you know, sometimes it's okay to move on and start new or start something that I, you yourself believe in. And this is what the Kinjas is about, uh, believing yourself and making sure it is what I want. Not getting greedy over getting everything because we can't in life so thank you for watching we're always here for you guys 10 years 20 years 30 years we're still here and this is the community we share uh, it's about love and peace respect and have a good day today think about what we talk about love you guys bye can just touch you bang, baby can you bang I love that. That's a good one. That was a freaking great, man. It's That's from great. the heart. It's from I'm the heart. I'm down for that. It's not bad. You, you want to try one more version? No, no, this is not a hey. <laughs> That's it.